<laughs> All right. Hey, everybody. This is Speaks, and welcome to another. Here. Here. What? A Klondike bar. Come on. It's You've killed for penis. less. Boiled. Boiled. Damn penis. it. Boiled. Ball. It's Southerners ball are going to feel so confused by the southern. Anyways. Um. Hey, everybody. <laughs> And welcome to another episode of Pokemon Jump Chain Villain, uh, sorry, Heroes Side. Say the Peanuts right sin. How you, what? How do you know I'm not yeah. saying the Peanuts right? Can she hear me she through any desk? She can feel it. She can feel it through her heart and can soul. Can she hear me through any desk? Maybe. Oh, maybe she can hear you through any desk and therefore she can hear you saying boiled. Ball, ball, it's ball penis. He's literally saying ball penis. How do you not understand this man? How could you not understand I'm saying ball penis? Exactly. Anyone who's not southern is just going to be so annoyed. <laughs> Everyone that's a northerner, as I have stated before, with a stick up their butt will be annoyed. <laughs> Sin, take it out. It doesn't belong there. I will rip it up take your it ass. Anyways. So... Uh, we have developed a new table of sorts for Warus's, uh thing. Um, so now we can actually just see what happens rather than having to look for like 20 minutes. Anyways, so you guys have come back. Uh, you guys probably went to Ospin's office and came down to a room or just teleporting room or funky shenanigans. I don't know. We're going to matching yeah, just I land in the room. I vaguely oh, recall uh, Lilith slapping uh, Wal Walrus upside the face and me being like, you know, I actually side with her. Shortly after she had already slapped me upside the face. Yeah. Mind you, that was the GPM's actions. Did she slap you guys upside the face? I must have been asleep at the time. She was, you, you got, okay, she and Euron had to fight two different people and they weren't yeah. there. They just disappeared. Oh, that's why she slapped them because like, where the fuck were you? Yeah. They it literally disappeared. She was being invaded by other jumpers, and you guys just decided to be like, whoop doo doop doo doop let's okay. fuck off. Well, technically speaking, that's not quite what happened. We were invading other jumpers. Huh. Well, while you guys were off invading and raiding, we were invaded and raided. See, I just looked at Ron, I'm just like, shh, 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 and I just put my hand on his my face, like, shh. By the way, uh, Sin, oh, I, I would like to know, now that we're in the other world, outside of the normal uh, events, which you said would cause huge and catastrophic damage to biological tissue, what mm -hmm. happens to all of the brisket that I brought with me? If I just poof. Roll d20. Okay. Because uh, I'm curious, because my character has no idea that it would be detrimental to his health. You only they got they look like... Kind of gross, almost brisket. It, it looks like brisket that's been out for a couple days. Hmm. The abuse of brisket is high these days. Bestest buddy, I have a theory. Buck looks at you, smells the brisket, wants to vomit a little bit because <laughs> you basically just wasted. What have you done to his to the man's brisket? And then he looks back at a very injured Ron, looks Ron dead in the eye. And begins to flex. By the way, in case I'm, any yeah, of you, I look, huh? I look over at at, at a buck with uh, with just a dead stare, and all of a sudden I I begin to wobble, and then boom, my shirt just explodes off, Jeez. and I start flexing with him. <laughs> Wait, did I ever take the suspenders off? Did no. I ever switch back no, to you, you took off you took off the afro, <laughs> but no. I still have. So I, I like rip off the pink mustache, but I'm staying in the spinners topless and I flex and I stick out my hand for Ron. Good <laughs> job. Alright. So if anyone We're, is Aussie, at all confused Aussie, about Aussie. how exactly the thing works, this is a clip from a Facebook thing from Miami. Uh, let's just let's just look at this clip real quick. Hold on. Oh, you're trying to explain the joke to the audience. That looks what it looks like. Uh, he's at sin. sin. That is essentially. the joke. That's the point of the joke. That is essentially what Joe Jonah looks like. I know many people okay, who'll be confused on what that looks like. 
Okay, but that if you look at the difference too. between jo Jonathan Joe Star and Giorno Giovanni, you clearly see a bit of a difference. Namely, approximately six normal human pectoral. Oh no, legs. I didn't show them. I didn't show them. Uh, jump. Uh, I didn't show them. Uh, he was that. showing him a Full Metal Alchemist thing of the <laughs> husband to show that them Alchemist this. lady and Armstrong. Oh, no, I showed yeah. them this. Yeah, I'm gonna grab this. Oh, yes, yes. Completely How different for anime. How heavy are the dumbbells you lift? <laughs> what? How heavy are the dumbbells you lift? Alternatively, it's also been called, Do You Even Lift? Do you not keep up with anime culture, man? No. This is a pretty popular anime this season, not to mention the fact that it was actually a really well-received Oh, this! Movie. Yeah. Oh, this! Jesus. So this if any of the viewers are actually curious on what exactly it looks like when we say they rip their shirts off from their pure flexing, yeah. that's what it yeah, looks like. It. <laughs> that is the horror that has been witnessed. Yeah. That is kind of what it looks like. Our face literally just stays the same, but just big, bulging, bicepping muscles. Yeah, but you also notice that uh, he looks like a normal guy until he flexes. Yeah. Who? The, the thing I say is the... Did spend the last 10 minutes oh. trying to explain a joke? Nah, I doubt it's last been actually 10 minutes. But actually, no, last two minutes, but yeah. I'm in two minutes. Anyways. So, yeah. Warris, start, Warris puts his hand on, War on Ron's shoulder and... Flexes! Ron uh, replies well, no, by flexing. Huh? Hopefully no. we don't have to deal with copyright issues. No, no I, I looked at Ron. I flexed. Ron looked and at me. Response, I looked at him, got drowsy, and then flexed so hard my shirt exploded. I looked at him. And then I stuck out my hand for him to shake. And we shook hands. Basically, thus, we bonded by flexing. And thus Ron also understands. And thus I know everything that they've done. <laughs> He explained it all to me through his muscles. Exactly. What? Look, we don't have to make sense, okay? I know. We are the slapstick group. You exactly. want serious things, you go to the villain side. <laughs> yeah, like, you want, like, us to explain things seriously? Nah. We nah, just flex fam, instead. nah. <laughs> so basically, Ron learned about the lovely, lovely disco brisket situation. And, and yeah. in turn, Walrus learned about our about our misadventure. Mm -hmm. Long story short, he Wilford Warstashed his way into an interesting distraction, and then I managed to solve world. Yep, makes sense to me. If you... Yeah. And then uh, on my end, Walrus saw how we um how me and Lilith teamed up together and took down two of their crew, and also that apparently and that Sonya's back. But now, as a guy and some other things, it's weird, yeah. Yeah, uh, that still doesn't make sense to me. So, a trap went from being a trap to a Pokemon to an actual trap. <laughs> <laughs> so, na chat. now what? Hold on a moment, I'm texting you what exactly you gleamed. So, just, just to, you know, just to run this up a bit. So, mm -hmm. basically, did you grope? Like, Buck looks at you, Ron, <laughs> and, like, he asks, he puts his hands together, flexes, and, like, basically through his muscles asking, so did you grow him? And then I flex back with, uh, showing off my back muscles, and I was like, no, nah, man, that's gay. <laughs> I see. I see. <laughs> I just oh, pull God. a thinking man as I flex more, and my pectorals. Give off the salute. And then for me, I do like, you know, the, the Egyptian uh, thing, like, you know, with the dance they do. Oh and he's just... So, Corin, you're just watching these two men flex off. Yeah, they were they were normal looking guys before, and now all of a sudden they're just big, oaking behemoths of muscle. Uh, maybe you didn't notice, but uh, after that long and stressful day, I'm taking a nap. <laughs> And that, and thus I in Osman's office. Also, you want to know what's funny? Where you're my going shirt to his office? My shirt unexplodes back onto my my shirt unexplodes Wait, back onto office? myself. No, no. And, no. I, and I go over here. And... When the heck did we get a super rad freaking computer system? Just uh, ignore that. That's you a byproduct of. Uh, also, this is the room that we met up with Oz in. Yeah, it's because I didn't have a have an office. Oh. Okay, so yeah. look. 
over here on the table, instead of having this uh, thing, just imagine that, um, hang on, let me get, let, let me get, time for my epic drawing skills. We're just gonna, there. Now I need to get me some, uh, <laughs> what are you need to get doing? me some shit brown. I need some of that purple, what are you that purple shit brown. And then we have, uh, that there. What are now you making? To, now, now, hang on, hang on, hang on. I need some white. Need the white. And... Do you? There we go. This is basically the, um, a, a very bad mock-up of my sword. Oh, I, I, I the just, brown's I, not I, the table. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the brown is, is the handle. <laughs> I was like looking. I'm like, why is it just black and white? Where's the sword? Where's the handle? Oh, the handle's right there. Also, I need a little bit of uh, gray. true gang star. <laughs> Looks like because a long I'm gonna have it like part. right here. There. So you see, you see where I put this little gray part at? Uh huh. Right there. Yeah. He's gonna he's gonna take that part and he's gonna take a blowtorch and he's just gonna cut it and cut it right off. Okay. But let me see how good of a how good of a job do I do this? See, well, you did kind of average. Let me look at your skills real quick. So, uh, you do have mechanic. You also have technician, mm -hmm. since this thing is both a technological marvel as one mechanical marvel. You also have tinker, uh, from Ruby, uh, and you also do have a blowtorch, from yep thing. Yeah. So you managed to pull it off fairly well, considering all the things. By the way. Have you looked in your bag recently? No, I haven't actually. Hang on, let me, let me turn off my let me turn off my TV, turn it back on so I can get the get the goddamn PC logo out of the way. Yeah, I don't know why, but every time I switch from my game from my console to my computer, I get I get this weird PC thing up at the top. Weird. I yeah, smell no. science. <laughs> oh god, as you're doing this, Ron. Science. As you're doing this wrong, you, you hear a sort of breathing over your neck. I smell science. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> you just, Buck just looks at both of you. And a try, he attempts to go to his bed. But all of that must have really got to Sin. Do I even okay. make it to my bed with that too? Okay, so Sin, what no. am I looking for? <laughs> Where do I end up falling asleep? inside my bag. You almost reach your chair. So inside of your bag, yeah. you should be able to see all of your stuff in your uh, your character sheet there. Yeah, like my items. I got the bag, mushroom, gold flute, my normal outfit, my school outfit. You have mushrooms. I got, I got a fuck ton of cash. You also have uh, three skill books that uh, you just haven't looked at before. But you have a mushroom. I don't know what you're planning on doing with that mushroom, but you have a mushroom. Oh, I have a book. Yeah, yeah, Dust for Dummies, Or for everybody, and a guide to Grim. Would you like to see my book? I'm not. Oh, oh, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, he's gonna, I'm, I'm gonna look in my bag because now for some reason I have a premonition that something in my bag I need to get. I'm gonna pull out the book Dust for Dummies. Oh. Because I'm gonna need this for, for, to right. help with the modification I'm doing. Okay, I was more talking about the mushroom, but that's smart. <laughs> Just lay down the sword in a pile of chess as you, like, start yeah. working on it. Uh, yeah. Corrin, you're also watching him play with his gigantic seven-foot sword. Do you like to see me stroke my, sa my shaft? Well, mostly I was thinking about the fact that it looks like you're planning on implementing dust into the overall body of it, which could be pretty interesting. At least I well, think that's what you're planning. Technically, but not quite. Actually, there's a reason why I broke off this one piece of the of the handle in the first place. You're gonna. You, you'll notice that, that the handle broken. part, the amount that he's already broken off, is is big enough to be its own, to be the hilt of its own sword in the first place. Are you gonna do a wield? <laughs> Maybe. I have a, I have an interesting idea. But first, I need to see if combining fire dust and lightning dust is a thing. Wow, well, that actually that's, kind of that's depends. That's an explosive combination. <laughs> I mean, it depends on how you're mixing them together and a couple of other of elements. I got a couple on, people. On, on particular variables, if I can get it to work in the proper way that I'm hoping for, because my guy may or may not be trying to combine dust to make plasma. Do you? Do you want me to see if I know a guy? 
I've got a couple dudes on speed dial. I have. No, 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 no. Trust me. Trust me on this one. I can do this. Yeah, you see, there's no one I trust less than someone who says trust me. So by Surprisingly, you managed to... I'm following the instructions, and I just toss the, the fire and lightning dust together. Can I I'm make hiding behind the couch. Surprisingly, it doesn't completely explode. It's a couple of small explosions, and the chessboard is now completely ruined. But, you know, it, it kind of makes Shit it together. Citron, no! <laughs> it kind no, of me it mixes together. It looks like you just pour two different colored dusts on top of each other, but they, they do mix together. Okay, good, good. Now, I'm fairly gonna, certain it's going to go off like a hand grenade. <laughs> now, I'm going to roll to see if I can uh, if I can pull something off. That should, that should hopefully be good. I'm okay. going to modify the part that I broke off to be able to reconnect back to the main body, but also that it can I can shove I'm going to shove that the new dust into there to see if I can and I'm going to add basically I'm hollowing it out Adding in all kinds of my wiring and components because you know I can I can do yeah, that. Yeah, you are a technician. I yeah, I, ha I have all the uh, the gadgets and gizmos to do that. I implement the dust, and then it's time for the test run. You see, you see, the difficulty here is you need a way yeah. to make it. <laughs> you need a way to make it so that the dust is not a dust. Yeah. It's a crystal. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, I, I didn't realize I needed a crystal, so I turn it on and BOOM! It explodes in my face! You oh. just lit electric and fire dust on fire. <laughs> huh. To that say that it went off like a hand grenade means that the table was still there. No, it doesn't. Do you not know how hand grenades work? It's yeah, this probably bit bigger than bits hand all over the place. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason why I hit behind the couch. Remember, this is a slapstick explosion. Oh, wait, wait. The only oh, thing that moment. actually gets hurt is me. Wait, wait, wait. Warth? Roll d20. Yeah. Oh, no. What? What am I doing? Ron, roll d20. Oh, no. What, what happened? Okay, you may or may not have just stabbed a couple of large shards of tr um, uh, uh, table into Warris's back as he's asleep. Huh. What? Didn't why was I that? rolling if that... Why was I rolling if that was gonna happen? Because it was CV above 15 to actually wake up since you were asleep. And I had to see whether or not Ron failed I mean, so I hard and stabbed you. I feel like I a was... hand grenade is not a DC 15 to wake up. <laughs> well, also, also, you never hand asked me if... what I was going for. Yeah, was I one? never asked. Did I smash my head into the table since I basically passed out? <laughs> As I was walking up to it. I'm not sure if you managed to reach the table, to be honest with you. Okay, never mind. You reached the table. It's just not quite the way you want it to. <laughs> so, <Fair> Kane. <coughs> you said you knew a guy? You think he can get me uh, some crystals? <coughs> I, I feel like I shouldn't answer with yes, but fortunately for you, I'm illegal. <coughs> I'm, I'm fairly angle. certain being stabbed in the back and having a hand grenade go off woke Warwars up. Hey, do you do you think he needs the aloe vera? <laughs> I don't know. Give him the aloe vera. I just hope that no one else heard that. I hate so, grenade. We are, we're on a moment. Yeah, there was an explosion within the school. I think somebody came in to, to take a look at it. There would not be. Do we want to just say that I freaking soundproofed our room somehow? It's a 19 on Ron. Well, well, D20, see if you can soundproof the room. You gotta get above a 19. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna look around and be like, wait, you guys thought I was serious when I said I soundproofed this place? Yeah, the 19 was actually how loud the explosion was. <laughs> You see the door practically come off of his hinges when she slams into the room. What happened? Wrong. Oh, don't worry. It was just me. I was just testing something. She it looks at. My face. She looks at Warris's bloody body on the ground. Don't worry. We've got don't the. Don't worry about him. And he's all. He's fine. Uh, Wait, shoot. Who has the aloe vera? Mr. Buck, are you okay? Uh, Hang on, let me check. Do I have it? Do I decide to wake oh. up? <laughs> well, if I get less than a five, no. Alright, you are now awake. 
see Ron does Buck not have the up. elevator. <laughs> Nook Buck just sits not. up in the pool of blood and attempts to sign, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. Can I, like, does that get across at all <laughs> from all the blood? Oh, yeah, he says he's fine. She looks at you yeah. with a mildly concerned look before turning back to Ron. I get that you're supposed to make weapons and fix them, but you should have learned how to not explode them by now. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. That was, that was just because I don't know how, I don't know much about dust. I know a lot about machinery and stuff. I just don't know much about dust. I tried to mix fire and lightning together. And yeah, you can see how well that did. You can see her eye twitching. Hey, I don't suppose you happen to have a uh, area for experimental technology that may or may not explode where we're supposed to go for all of that? Yeah, outside. I'm well, back. Shoot, yeah, but what, 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 would would that be? what if we accidentally stab some passerby instead of someone like Buck? We have a courtyard. Yeah, but Buck is Buck. <laughs> well, By the way, yeah, but... he's covered in blood. Just so you're aware, love. Wait, what happened? What Ron. what happened while the babysitter was gone? Ron. So, Ron um, tried to combine lightning dust and fire dust, which are both extremely okay, volatile. I can imagine is like basically everyone who's here that's not Ron just quickly turning and pointing at Ron. <laughs> yeah. They already did. I By the way, silent. the table blew up. I totally owned up I totally owned up to it though. I'm actually trying to, to modify God my weapon. Walrus. Walrus just keeps adding more blood. Look, I am actively bleeding here. Do, do I have aloe vera? Do, do you have the aloe vera? <laughs> Please, you know what? I don't, I don't let you roll for that. Oh, in a moment. Let me just... Wait, uh... if no one else has the aloe vera, don't I have to have the aloe vera? Uh, I've been rolling to see if I'm motivated enough to look, but the highest I've rolled is a 10, so I'm like, I don't know, I, I might have Click it. the d20. Wait, wait. Do it I'll for me. Click the. I'll keep, ass, I'll keep adding until going. somebody deals with. Bucks I mean, you can also use Tinker, Bucks. but yeah. Uh, you Bucks? surprisingly, unless somebody no, gets higher. No, no, I can't because I can't touch All right, fine. things. Now you can. Oh, that's a terrible idea. Why would you do that, sir? Because I'll turn it on and off when I need your roll. So click it. <laughs> are, are you going? Are you going? Okay, now I can. Point? Now I can roll. Okay, hey, so no, I'm not. I refuse your offer. Remember, Buck is bleeding before, here. Look uh, for the aloe vera woman. Uh, Talk about what? How sweet is how sweet can spring water heals people? Oh uh, yeah, I don't know if any of you got any, and sweet coon was. <laughs> in well, sweet coon was kind of mad, this, especially at so, me. In my world, I did as it, mm -hmm. like if you look at my character sheet, I explicitly list it as one of oh, my uh, possible <laughs> things <laughs> for my trusty Christ class. Christ <laughs> Look, yeah. you guys are talking. Buck is bleeding. I'm making this scientifically accurate to bleeding. Yeah, so I'm basically just going to spray him down with my Suicune uh, water with more water pouring out of my flask than could possibly fit. Right okay, hang on. Look, we can all just summon this up that you got some Suicune juice. Yeah, I got a lot of Suicune juice. <laughs> I, I can't even Good. grab you people uh, now. Now just... Not, not, now just pour that all on him and shove his blood right back into him. I got things to do. Okay, yeah. I very quickly left to grab my phone charger. What did I just walk back into? <laughs> <laughs> Doom. Well, Oris is bleeding out, um, and then Corrin gave him some life juice. Spring, like spring water on top of this, dude. I'm washing away all that blood. Wait, what happened to his character? Buck is gone himself. He's completely gone. He has left the building. There you go. Take the mini Buck. Oh. Wow, you must have lost a lot of blood. He lost so much blood he shrunk. Let's see what my reaction is. Ah, good morning. Is it morning already? It's just like he wakes up pleasantly feeling like, Ah, good morning to you. How are you doing? Well, he been stabbed a couple times. Someone underestimates the power of healing water. I was assuming, Loth, that you're exasperated at this point. Oh shoot, did Glinda just see my miracle yeah. water? Yeah. Yes. Yes, she did. Although her face is in her hands, and she is sighing with the force of a thousand disappointed mothers, but, you know. 
mean? I'm gonna put the flask in my pocket and pretend and be like, oh wow, I can't believe that miraculous surge of a waterfall suddenly crashed through our window and washed away all of the blood and also Buck's injuries because that's how water works. Isn't I like that going, excellent, you Glinda? Have like, to roll for the shaking my head. He already did. He rolled for the diplomacy and it, and it worked. My God. Oh, I'm not even like, trying to. I, I noticed that she's here. I walk over, tap her on the shoulder, and I'm just like, are you okay? Can't with you people. I am babysitting a bunch of children, I swear. Hey, I'm not being a child. I'm being an adult. Somebody else just caused me to bleed out. <laughs> and I'm just sitting here playing with my toys, so you can't blame me. She just sighs. If you're going to work on highly experimental uh, weapon mo uh, configurations, don't do it in the room. She points to the table. I have to fix you that do now. You do realize I can talk, Sin. No, no. This is Glinda. No, no, no. He's talking for for, for her. Because after the explosion okay. that they heard from me mixing up fire and lightning dust, she came busting in. Is like, what the fuck? Yeah, she she's she's disappointed with all of you. Mostly me. It's like a thousand disappointed mother. Also, I love you how when I mention. Me over. I love how when I mention gays of a thousand disappointed mothers, you immediately thought I was talking about you. You know. You know, you just see me dragging Ron off and sitting him in the corner. Aww, but I okay. didn't do it. I want to work on my toy. Ah! I make a very bad but funny decision. <laughs> oh? So you know how I have that fun, fun experimental dust, right? Uh-huh. Oh, no, what are you doing? I, I, I get fire dust, lightning dust, what? and the experimental in teaspoons. What is being done? And a very tiny. Wait, is Ron just talking? Yes. Yes. And I hand them to Ron. <laughs> he doesn't need to know what I'm doing. Oh no! Yay! <laughs> what oh, are you no. doing? Trying to feed me dust. Uh, Wars, no, real quick, could you? Uh, Wars, real quick, could you leave and come back? Uh, yes, but real quick, I'm handing mm -hmm. you three teaspoons. It's not you this time, Ron. <laughs> Lately, Discord hates Walrus more. So... I'm handing Ron something evil. <laughs> oh god. So, Ron, you just see Walrus coming out towards you with a teaspoon of what looks to be three different dusts, only two of which you recognize, and you may or may not be scared. Do uh, I and... notice this and care enough to stop them? That's a good question. Let's see. No. No. Yeah. No. I 17 earlier. You're more, you're more interested with what Corrin is doing. Question. I'm trying to fix it. Yeah, because I basically it's made made the, the, the part of that handle explode, so I kind of need to re repair it. <laughs> yeah, Why your weapon is more or less complete. You, well, she's sitting at the desk. Oh, oh, I, okay. I see now. I just right. And that teapoon. Uh, <laughs> what was that, Wars? I... Sorry, He's I said T-Poon. He's running, running from <laughs> you. <laughs> Wait, I'm just trying to hand it to you. Okay, I okay. Wanna... Why? I'm gonna accept it. Is it in my... You just, like, you just see him pull out, like, a tiny vial, pour it all in all together, mm. hand it to you, and walk away. To... And he's like, do it. You just hear, do it as is you will. I don't know what will happen. Have fun. Jesus. Buck. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so, I have an uh, question. Yes. Did you remember to account for the fact that I might not survive the Ron? <laughs> Look, you've got a me. He'll hit me before he hits you. That's a good point. Protect the brisket provider. Exactly. Attack. Protect so, and attack. So you were more or less able to fix the handle, since that was the only thing that actually blew up. Though I say the sword is mostly fine, it's also unbelievably durable, unlike the table under it. <laughs> Sorry, unlike the table that Glinder is currently repairing piece by piece that is under it at the moment. <laughs> As she sighs, once more. Oh, now. oh I really appreciate this wood grain. I absolutely adore it. Nice. What? Oh, <laughs> the wood grain. Oh, I heard that you have access to a, um, <clears throat> portals uh, technology, eh? Or something similar? I'm just gonna turn around and look right at Glinda Goodwitch. He did not mean portals. 
continue. I mean, well, how else were you able to get from one place to another in, in the span of like a... He's clearly talking about the mission that I was just recently sent on alongside Buck, which I'm sure you remember, Glinda Goodwitch. He's not talking about anything else. She sighs again and starts to leave. <laughs> hey, man, what the fuck? The table is fixed, by the way. Same with the, the couches. Oh, Sid, and come on, the man, I need board. those crystals, all right? I need a crystal. I mean, I can totally do things, but uh, maybe don't discuss my illegal ventures in the Dust Mafia in front of our teacher. Hang on, rolling. You're part of the Mafia?! God, the Clint Goodwitch does not think that you're an intelligent person. Fuck just goes and like fuck, lays man? down on the couch on don't, the other don't, side. Don't you know what the mafia does? I want you. They give them semen shoes and make them sleep with the fishes. Yes, but have you I ever napped you. flounder? It's actually quite exquisite. <laughs> what was that little? Just imagine. I, I'm mostly, I'm I want you to imagine. Mm -hmm. Poor, poor, poor Dorada. Just curled up, buried in blankets on one of the beds. Hey, do you think we broke her? <laughs> More or less, I think. Buck is on the couch just, like, looking at both of you. He's not really impressed that Ron hasn't put together that basically Corrin's the leader of the Mafia. <laughs> Buck's done his dirty work this entire time, and he hasn't questioned it at all. Well, also, remember, my guy is very absent-minded. So even right. when he was actually literally watching him do his uh, his mafia <laughs> business, he was not registering it as mafia. Oh, so. He looks at Lulu, like, curled up. It's like, you're just now breaking. <laughs> after everything we've done, now you break. Yeah, after all that we've been through, through Pokemon, Mystery Dungeon, <laughs> and now this. Now you're breaking? <laughs> Listen, this universe just hurts me. <laughs> Jesus Christ, people. <laughs> uh, no. No, no, no he, doesn't. he doesn't. Oh, by the way, you guys remember to do a bug check as soon as we got back, given the fact that we have other jumpers and they very easily could have put in a listening device into here so that the next time they came back, they could end up re downloading all the information off their scroll, right? What <laughs> fuck looks you dead in the eye and goes, we both know they're not that intelligent. I'm sorry. I mean, one of them is one of, our, is one of our old members, so... What? I mean... One of them was what? used to used to travel with us. So yeah, her name was Sonya. Now she's a he and things and they hate. And she and, and he, she, whatever, hates my guts now. Wanted to kill me with a scythe. But instead I got I got taken out by this one, by this really fucking edgelord guy. You should have seen him. He, he went all fucking Reaper on us with the Death <laughs> Blossom shit and bullshit. He's a real yeah, good runner, though. I, he, he could easily keep up with me. Though, so I, I still outpaced him. I'm yeah, surprised none of you guys goes in physical detail. <laughs> I mean, to be fair... Did you not mention... <laughs> the enemy knows who you are? Yeah, I introduced myself. I thought he was a good guy. I, re I introduced him. I even shook his hand. He's, a, he's actually a nice guy once you get to know him. I think he's just misguided. To be fair... I did make friends with one of them. Granted, it was in a very strange <laughs> situation, and I was being a distraction. Oh, so, you just see Buck stand back up, just rip off the pants, like, reach into his warehouse, pull back out his black pants and put them on. He's still refusing to wear a shirt, though. I just sit there, cross my arms, close my eyes, and nod with a knowing, uh, with just a knowing look as I, I watch Buck do this. Well, uh, what's done is done. Uh, I don't think that we can fix that. But at the very least, but the still, real question is, like, there, it's perfectly possible that like all you need is one smart person on the team to know to place a uh, bug inside of here. So uh, I guess I know what I'm doing, and it's uh, not actually bug searching. I'm going to leave that to Buck, unless he wants to handle the giant explosive thing that he just handled wrong. Handed wrong. Handed. Handled wrong. Buck, Buck nothing can handle wrong. One does not simply handle wrong. <laughs> Buck looks you in the eye, points towards this corner of the room and go and you don't hear anything, but you can tell he's just like, do what you want. I'll watch Ron. Because I'm the one who there's a reason Buck's sitting on the other couch 
like paint you like one of your French girls style <laughs> looking at a rock. He's waiting for this to blow up in his face. He's bored. He just wants to laugh at something today. All right, under one condition. You ha have to take the explosives outside. I don't want to be chided by Glinda twice in 10 minutes. At least wait 15 if you're going to blow it up in here. Otherwise, I sit down cool. and I and I do the thinking pose, like you know the the, the thinking guy statue, and I and I contemplate. Did we see smoke I'm... coming out of Ron's head? A low roll means that, that I that I uh, cave in and I and I concede. <laughs> a high roll would have been like, ah, oh, fuck no, I'm do what I want. But I'm like, Jesus. fine. If you if it if it if it'll get me the crystal I need, I'll do it. You just you just hear a slow angry stomp over to you and Lilith just stares at you for a moment before saying, you know what? Fine then. Try not to get us expelled. Oh, or, uh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Try not to get yourself killed or worse, expelled. Listen, Lilith, I can't die. I'm the main character. I've got the plot armor here, okay? Excuse me. Princess, who's the main character? I am. Right? I mean, I'm the one that this series started off on, right? I was the one who fell from the sky into the Pokemon world. Yeah, and, Herm and Hermione was a supporting character in Harry Potter, but they still would have all died without her. Loth, Loth. Uh, actually... Loth, Ron amazing was idea. Actually the main, the main, it was actually the one who saved all their asses in the first place. Loth, amazing idea. Okay. You need to reread those books, <laughs> sir. I'm going based off of the movies because remember, Ron oh, was, the you... was the only one who could destroy one of the Horcrux Horcruxes, and if he couldn't have done, and if he didn't do that, they would have died to Lord Voldemort. So okay, but they literally would have died in the first book if it wasn't for Hermione because they were idiots. Wait, do you guys not remember the title of the sixth book? Hermione and I bet you should have just copied off of my homework instead of some creepy weirdo's homework the entire time and we would have resolved everything. <laughs> so <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't. I think you killed him. <laughs> oh, that would be so much more important for me. I am the ass catch'em of this group, so... Okay, that's actually fair. I did not hear Ash. Fuck is the Brock. How am I the Brock? Except less, um... Less, um, you know, perverty. To Wait, be fair, if it's mean? not brisket, I personally don't really care. If it's mm -hmm. brisket, however, I will do anything. And then, and then we have um, uh, Lilith over here being the Misty of the group. Wait, what does that make me? <laughs> I don't Pikachu? know. Oh, Go you're on. the Max. There you go, you're the Max of the group. Yes, Max. Wow. The Max is not that great right of a oh, would, like... would it be better with that one guy from whenever they were in X and Y? He was... um. Clement, I think his name was. Oh, yeah, Clement. I don't know one of the gym leaders. But, but I see Corn as the Pikachu of the group. <laughs> so that means that he's my sidekick. Bitch, you're lucky you're endearing. <laughs> 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 Bitches love cannons. <laughs> oh, my God. Also, Ron, uh, Loth, I'm fairly certain you find this entertaining uh she like grabs you by the shirt looks you in the eyes and simply whispers to you no expulsion all right all right all right jesus christ <laughs> oh hey did anyone check the mail oh when it comes mail? Out, I will. mail what's mail mail time you mean this mail paper right here as buck pulls it out of his back pocket also, we get mail? I didn't think that was that popular. You're inside of a school. Of course you get mail. How do you think Ruby sends all the messages to people? Anyway. Uh, oh, yeah. Anyway, basically, this uh, is my uh, business so address. Somebody, if somebody promised me crystals here, I want... Give me crystals. Why would your business address be the school you're going to? Because that way that I can get my mail? I mean, most schools that you live at have a student... 
P.O. box. So don't we have these scroll things that are basically uh, smartphones that we could just get our mail from? Well, yeah, but that's digital mail, and sometimes some people want to send you actual physical invoices. Apparently there's this weird archaic thing called snail mail? Don't know about you, but I never heard of it. The fuck you know what? Listen. I'm the type of person who still actually sends letters in real life. I don't. You don't right. call me out like this. You yeah, people are arguing too long. Oh, oh, that I write. Oh my god, you are so know. you are so nineteenth century. Oh. <laughs> so <laughs> Buck, do you decide to read the letter by any chance? I I, pers I like all the mail that they as they're arguing. Buck proceeds to pull out the mail they're talking about and is reading the labels on each one. Because Buck doesn't understand the concept of phones. He understands the concept of speaking through laptop. That's about it. That's as much as he had to learn from technology because it was the, you know, communication aspect of things for him with people. So as you're He's reading through them, email. as you're reading through them, a couple names uh, catch you off guard. One is, uh, well, it's not really a letter of sorts, but it's um, kind of like a, not invitation. It's like an order from uh, Osbin to get up to you guys. Apparently he wanted to send it, the letter, to you guys because he thought it would be funny. Um, he also said that oh, wasn't particularly man. important, but he thought it would be funny to send you a letter. So he has his name on there. Uh, and then another one is from Whitney Schnee. Whitney Schnee? Schnee. Whitley. Whitley Schnee. Whitley Schnee. Which? Whitley Schnee? Not entirely sure if your character would know that name, Wars. Huh. There's also a newspaper. That... Whitley Schnee. Yeah. I have invested much time into the concepts of my employer. So, Whitney Schnee is the son of the current largest financial powerhouse oh, okay. on the woman. entire planet. By that name, Whitney? I thought that was a woman. I did not think that was a man. Oh. No, it's a kid. Yeah, Whitley Schnee is the son of the largest powerhouse of a giant of a financial expert on the planet. Literally, so got... house of ninety percent of all um, uh, <coughs> dust. The largest dust trade of all time. Corporation. Unfortunately for me, he has the, he does he doesn't have you reading these things out loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh man. I technically am not. I can't physically read things out loud. Are you talking about through my psychic abilities? Yeah. I, I mean, you might be telling me, yo, hey, brisket daddy, you got mail. I mean, I could just, you know, be inconspicuous and, you know, tap you on the shoulder and hand it to you. That's actually fair. You could totally do that. Well, let's see what I actually do because I like leaving it up to. Yeah, I just like walk. I like read through the mail. I like put. I like start separating mail. Anything that's going to you, I hand to you. Anything going to, you know, anybody else? You... Dora over there, so I hand to her. <laughs> Dora. Anything going to Ron, I burn. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense because who would be sending me mail, really? This it, is it's, a bill. This is a it's bill. Probably this is ads for not so this good is from Whitley Schnutta. <laughs> and what? Buck has no mail because Buck only knows people that work for Kane, and they weren't. The but only there's person a that newspaper. Would... Okay. Newspaper is not very interesting. That, okay, the only person that I would see handing me mail or sending me something would be... Hold on, my brain has forgotten her name. Hey, uh, Dora, did you notice that Ron's escaping? First of all, my name is not Dora, sir. <laughs> I am not Dora the Explorer, the popular children's show. Yeah, it's yeah, cool. yeah, that's right. Her name is <laughs> Well, he just called you Jojo, so I mean that's also a popular children's show's character, except that one's a clown. Which I guess is their students are Ron. Wait, does that mean that Ron is boots? No. He's Jojo. What? Because he's an utter clown. I'm a Jojo. Yay. Particularly uh, so... I would think I'm the one with the hair who had the hair obsession. Ron, what oh, the yes. heck are you doing? 
Hey, Just he wouldn't you. give me my crystal, so I'm gonna go out and find it. <laughs> He's just watching me drag Ron by his ear back over to the couch. See, what I tell you, you're Misty! I, mean, I don't get your references! I mean, if you want them crystal, you just need to pay me. Or okay. sign a contract that signs away, like, pretty much your soul. You I got mean, funds? Considering that all of our souls already technically belong to Jump Chan, I can't really do that, so... How about we cut a deal? What kind of deal? What kind of cut? I love cutting things. It's okay, deals. Jesus Christ, calm down there, Michael, <laughs> Michael Myers. Fuck. You do have 200,000, okay, okay. Leon. No! Making your teammates sign contracts to sell away their souls. Well, yeah, apparently you guys well, already sold your souls. A deal with him. How about this? I am a reasonable person. I may act absolutely, absolutely idiotic, but I'm actually pretty smart when I, when I want to be. I will be willing to do a, a job for you if you get me these crystals I need. Let me confer with the intelligent portion of my group. Buck, <laughs> do you have Bernadette's number? Buck is the is Buck. I mean, the, Buck and, looks and, at and, you. And as he looks at the mail he's given, pulls it up and went, she sent me mail and yes. <laughs> Neat. You see, Buck is kind of happy that somebody sent him something. Seeing <laughs> how he knows very few people, and everyone that he's previously has known is either dead or hates him. <laughs> or is oh, he? Or... I like you. You're my friend. Okay, let me rephrase that. Everyone that he's known from every jump beforehand has either hated him, was is currently in the jump with them, or has died. Okay, now that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, Larry Gate is mostly uh, pleasantries of. Pokemon. Yeah, mostly a lot of you guys pleasantries of. We got your food if you ever want, and uh, your bill has been paid. And by a bill, I mean food. Also, we have more job for you when you get down here. Buck is still a happy camper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Buck looks at you going, "Yes, why wouldn't I?" And. Then you you can continue. Also, how do you not have her number? Oh, I do. I just wanted to make a joke about saying that I was going to confer with the intelligent part, and then I shouted for Buck, and then I asked him for someone else's phone number. I <laughs> thought it would be hilarious. Buck is not is one that is very simple in his mind, and sometimes he wasn't deciding the joke. Plus, Buck doesn't care about intelligence. He just wants to make sure he has food. <laughs> Buck is a very simple creature. But yeah, basically, if you do a job for me, then absolutely. Heck, I'll even give you the crystals first before the job, as long as you then promise to do the job. Listen, I'm a man of my word. If I, if I say I'm going to do something, I damn well do it. I believe that. <laughs> yeah, besides, I, I said I was going to I was gonna finish, uh, I was gonna finish these last two jumps, and I've done it, haven't I? My god, he has indeed not died. Yeah, I need to and make I've sure to survive this whole one. way until I become until I become a god. Can you imagine well, it? Me, a god. Ooh. Nah, I try not now. to. <laughs> that sounds like a horrifying existence. They gave me the prospect when I was talking to the to them other guys, because apparently that's what they're trying to do. And I didn't I didn't like the look in that one guy's eyes because he wouldn't take off his damn mask and he looked like a like a complete idiot running around in it. So I, I thought it was the, some hot shit, but hey. And I think he needs to be taken down a peg or two. Besides, he technically beat me, so you know I, I can't I can't let that slide. I'm sorry. Did you say mask? <laughs> yeah. Why? They they both wore masks. What kind of mask? Grim. Like, um, uh, they were white with red lines and stuff on them. Remind me of Amaterasu. They were grim themed masks. Is that right? I... One second, I pull out Grim for dummies, and I'm just like, yeah, yeah, that's what they look like. <laughs> I see. You killed them, right? Also, also, the one with the guns kept talking about something called a Grim Parasite. Do you have any idea about that? Hey, Ron. <laughs> He's, like, right up next to you now. <laughs> so, here's the thing, Ron. Uh -huh. I'm going to show you a picture of a couple of people, and hopefully, I don't know, maybe they're wearing the same kind of pants? 
So I want, ooh, I want to know. Ooh. I love guessing games. I am very good at guessing. Let's go. So I saved the images of Team Mars, and I'm going to show them to Ron. Mm -hmm. And Lilith, actually. Lilith is right there. I'm going to show it to both of them. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, do, do the hips or pants of any of these people match up to the hips of the people you fought against? Because it's damn hard to hide your hips. Both of you roll d20. Mostly because I don't wait, trust Ron's wait. faith. Why, why do we care about hips? Because it is damn hard to hide hips. As everyone knows, they are the least deceitful because hips don't lie. Ron kind know. of vaguely knows them, and Lilith knows not their hips, but the rest of the, their faces. Not their faces, but the general body size structure. So, these, this is the person? The, these are the people that you encountered? Um, sure. I mean, he... Also, the hips don't lie, but have you ever seen a drag queen? Hips can be modified. <laughs> okay, yeah. I know, have you ever seen a person that went through the sex change? Well, I mean, assuming that we're talking specifically. Anyway, more importantly than that, <laughs> if they were wearing white masks, then I have a problem with them. Yeah, one of them had a top hat, I think. I don't remember. I... Frankly, that almost would make it okay if it was anything aside from a grim mask. I Dorado, do you uh, do you remember specifically which two it was? Let's see, because I don't in real life. <laughs> yeah, you I do! do. <laughs> <laughs> she points to Mars and Silver. Wait. So does it click now that Mars and Silver were the two members of Mars that weren't there when I was there? Uh, well, I mean, you, you recognize the, the other yeah. two. <laughs> so, yeah, I recognize you. <laughs> unless you oh. get like a three, yeah. <laughs> Well, let's just see that one. No, it's like, oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. That, well, that guy right there, yeah, the one with the two guns. I fought him. He's a bitch. If he dressed uh, uh, he was wearing a white mask, I'm inclined to agree. And also, he's a real big edgelord. You need to watch out. You'll get cut on that edge. Oh, trust me. I can freaking gargle bismuth. I can handle his bitch. Why would you want to... Because it's the edgiest mind. metal. <laughs> like, legit, have you seen pictures of bismuth? It is legit the edgiest yeah, yeah, metal. Yeah, right. yeah I, I have seen, I have seen bismuth, yeah, actually. Right? It's, it's this it's... one that has that, that weird uh, square thing that goes inside, right? Yeah, it's actually what? really aesthetic. I know, I really like it. It's it, And it's also got a really pretty uh, coloring to it what as well. What are you people I, even like, talking like, about now? <laughs> We're talking Listen, about it. man, we're you talking don't understand your medals. I know, I know a lot about my medals because I'm a big uh, sword enthusiast. So I know, I know all the medals that are that are useful and not useful to make swords. Bismuth is one of them so that yeah. you don't want to use. Yeah, you don't want to use bismuth. It's not very like sturdy or strong or anything, but it is really, iron, really pretty. Iron, steel, silver to an extent, but not not too much. Hey, if you're fighting the werewolf, you know you, where it's at. I'm yeah. in titanium. But definitely, but definitely not bolted. Oh, yeah, Certain, too brittle. Yeah. yeah. Not obsidian, either. Eh, uh, anyway. The problem with that is that just obsidian can't even be casted. That's the problem. Yeah, it's really mostly. hard to cast obsidian. Yeah. If if if, if, it, if there was a way someone could find to cast obsidian, hell yeah, because obsidian can be the sharpest uh, mm -hmm. stone out there. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, so basically... uh. Did you at least horribly injure, maim, and or cripple one of them? Well, the one there with the guns, he's a bitch who cheats because he has something like a healing factor. He's a lot like Wolverine in that sense. You can't... I did... I I took one of his compadres into the sword, into the... You know, see like this little uh, area right here? I got his neck stuck in there, tossed them at him. They went, both went through the wall. The guy was nearly dead. He gets up... All his blood sucks back into his body or something. I don't remember. I just don't remember it being. I was like, "Hey, fuck you!" And so I think he's. I think he's virtually unkillable. But I have seen a weakness in his healing factor. It can only do it, and he can only heal himself relatively. On you know, and um, basically he can heal himself once, and then it takes a while for him to be able to heal again. I see. So if we can, so if we, if we can do enough damage to him at one point, we could probably knock him out. 
Both okay, points so out the fact that she uppercut the other one in the face with its own gun. He's just a boss battle with a second health bar. That was awesome. Pretty much him. <laughs> uh, as long as we can get him down, uh, if we can knock him out in one hit, he'll be knocked out either way. His, his healing factor won't be able to kick in. At least I would think. Neat. Well, wh which one did you say was talking about a grim parasite? Uh, actually, that guy. I think you said his name was uh, Mars. Mars, huh? Yeah. Neat. That's. 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 Neat. Yeah. Also, he he had this weird thing where um, apparently the grim parasite is afraid of me. I don't know. Uh, does that have anything to do with anything? Well, it implies that that grim parasite is a bitch. <laughs> I, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it was just a fucking rip off of Venom. I knew it from the moment I saw it. <laughs> well. I feel like this was a very informative evening. If you see so them like again, my... uh, can you murder them for me? That'd be great. Hey, look, I tried to do it one time. And you're gonna you... Look, look, if you want me to murder them, you're gonna have to pay me double. Boy. I will pay you triple. Deal. Next time I see them, I'll make sure to pound his face in so hard you won't even recognize it. Yeah, the funny thing is, I don't think I'd recognize it normally, but hey, uh, just make sure you break the mask, too. Well, are you at all concerned about this? Buck is not even there. Yeah, Buck is... <laughs> no, I said low. Oh. Oh. Talking about, oh yeah. Yeah, Lilith, are you at all concerned about the two of them plotting murder right in front of you? You know, I'm concerned, well, not, really not enough to do anything. I mean, it's not really murder, it's more like murder. It's a red rum. Basically, yeah. Basically, what I'm planning to do is I'm gonna knock his bitch ass out and then take him back to the building. Okay. Either that well, or, well, you did tell me just to get his mask, so I'll knock him out, grab his mask, and you would be like, got it. Here you go. And you're like, but you left him there. <laughs> oh, no, the, the mask is the most important part. But if you could bring me a corpse, I mean, I'm filthy freaking rich. I'll pay you quadruple for the corpse. Okay. Okay, Jesus look, money, I, 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 I like money, but I don't think my mor my morals would be able to allow me to do that. Besides, oh, I don't oh. think I could because his healing factor. It might kick in even when he's knocked out. I don't know. I'll at least try to get you the mask. How's that? Mask is fine. Mask means I pay you double. Okay, Living good. body means I pay you double. And then triple. Jeez. I'm sorry, hang on. Can, 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 you, can you say that again? My, uh, my hearing aid uh, fucked up there for a second. <laughs> Basically, if you get me his living body and the mask, I'll pay double and triple. Because, seriously, I have more money than I know what to do with. Do you have any idea how hard it is being a lucrative member of a dust sale system? Okay, okay, okay nice, good. First, th okay, first things, first things first, I'm gonna need a lasso. <laughs> you know what? I have one of those. Huh. However, I left it in the bar. Of course it's in the bar. Why wouldn't Where it be in the bar? Where did Boris go? Buck has inquiries that you gave him. So, I'm about these crystals the now. Oh yeah, I, I can get you some high quality my, crystals. I don't want to complete my modification. Buck was sent a letter. Who knows when those were actually sent? <laughs> that's fair. That's, that's, that's true. true it is, yeah. Buck oh. knows where he's needed and then food is the answer. Buck is off to get some food, even though y'all have food at this cafeteria. Look, hey, they don't serve brisket. Beats Bernadette's brisket. That's fair. All right, so you want Sorry. crystals? Wait, yeah, can uh, you turn the triple dust into a crystal? I probably know someone who can. Right, I don't know what that experimental dust don't do, but who? Well, All I, mean, I need is something that can form plasma. And I need something... I'm also going to need a little bit of extra mechanical whatchamajiggits and doomahickeys to make sure that the plasma can can bounce back on itself and you make have, like a... You know that I own a shop for weapon development and modification? Why haven't you told me this? Why didn't you ask? Also, you're uncomfortably close to kissing range right now. <laughs> oh, really? 
Yeah. <laughs> what? What's happening? So, this uh, place of yours, you mind taking it some time? Oh my god. <laughs> All of a sudden, <laughs> you think I'm gonna lose a gay chicken? Not a chance. Hmm. <laughs> what is this? Oh, no. Okay, no. Time. Time is good. You know, how about right now? Why don't we go to this place? I might, it might actually have the place things I need there to better fix my sword. I mean, I kind of broke part of the handle and made a pipe bomb out of it. Although, <laughs> tell, tell you the truth now, now, now I know that combining uh, fire and lightning dust. Is a good way to make a to make a frag bomb. It's true. Plus, if we go over to uh, gear shift now, we should be able to drop by the, uh, get some sip. We'll be able to pick up the lasso. We'll be able to give this letter to Bernadette that says it's addressed from one. Uh, see, I believe this is tiny bitch. Yeah, that's probably what it says. Aye. Okay. So. From what? Our people. The let's one. Come on, right off. I'm assuming Probably you all start heading out. Yep, we're, hey, me uh, we're following Corin because he's the one who's leading us at this one. All right, which Eat technically us. you're all following Boris to on his own mission, but you know. <laughs> no, no, we're, we're just coincidentally going in the same direction as well, Boris. Ah. Yeah. Yep. And Loth, I'm assuming you're babysitting. Funny how all this actually connects together. I love it. <laughs> just, just the bullshit. Loth, I'm assuming you're babysitting. Yeah. All right. So y'all yeah. finally head to Vale, which I don't think... Oh, I do uh, have your guys' uh, characters. Oh, wait. I have extra characters. Fire said she'll catch up with you guys later. Yeah, she's just asleep. What does the what letter from Whitley say? Uh... Damn, Corin, you thick. <laughs> the letter, uh, mostly... I straight skinny legend. Uh, but yeah. Uh, the letter, for the most part, uh, dictates um, that you've gotten somewhat popular, somewhat big, and the Schnee Company is looking to invest in you. And by invest, you clearly imply, you clearly mean to, he clearly means to imply he wants to buy you completely, entirely, from he's the ground up. So he's trying to pull a Disney on you, got it. Yeah. <laughs> he's also offering you a obscene amount of money, even by your standards. Jokes okay, on you. Look, trust I'm me, a PG-13 friend. man. I'm against obscenity. Ah, nice. Yes, because this is a Christian. This is this is a Christian jump chain. So let me tell you though, don't don't go for the Disney bucks because they ruin Star Wars and they ruin Marvel. All right. <laughs> But yeah, so it basically just says that he will offer you insert obscene amount of money here, even by your standards, and uh... Also, infinity money, well, got it. At least it doesn't conclude by saying that he's going to come visit my shop, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, do, you turn, do, you, do you look at the back of the paper? Sin. Yes. Yes, I look at the back of the paper. You see in rather small form, uh, it's staying. By the way, I will be coming over to your, air quote, shop, end air quote, at my earliest convenience. Okay, that can't be good. Well, I don't tear it apart. <laughs> I'm just going to gently and slowly fold it up. I'm going to then insert it into my mouth, and I'm going to... Sw I'm going to oh. make eye, <laughs> eye contact with Ron before I commonly say, and now... We will know that once it's finished digesting, it will be exactly what he. Ah, oh, I see. It would be absolute shit. Got it. You and me, Ron, we're on the same wavelength. I don't, don't yep. think that's healthy for either of us. <laughs> I like it. Good God. We think followed it. I'm like, oh, so yeah, it, mm -hmm, got it. Yeah. <laughs> You're basically just saying, yeah, yeah, that letter was shit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Or so, I'm like, yo, it's going to be shit soon, but still. Well, some, you know, form has to reflect function eventually. <laughs> anyway. Life, oh, lim, art always imitates life, you know? Why did you just roll a one? 
tell me that that, that wasn't my luck roll. That was your luck roll. <laughs> hey, Sin. Yeah. You're gonna have indigestion, aren't you? Is it just, is it just Ben Silverberg over the freaking table day? <laughs> So, are you walking into your shop, or are you walking in to get some sip? I'm walking in to get some sip. Please, please tell me Whitley is not in there getting some goddamn sip. <laughs> you walk in, and you do, see Waris talking a, to Whitney. Do we have a, uh, a, a How am I talking to him? I sign, I don't speak. Alright, fine, you see him, him you see him looking at Whitney, and... What you imagine okay. is talking to him, mostly because he's chatting up her nip. So, By chatting up, I mean he's game. asking her if he can buy the entire shop out for up seeing my money. Hmm? We both know, Sin, that I'm sitting in my corner where Bernadette <laughs> gives me jobs, and he's next to me in my bubble. <laughs> well, I am trying so to enjoy... So you're just staring at him angrily. I will probably have had to smack him. With the, with my fist. With the force of a thousand. Pins. All right, I'm gonna roll a freaking will check. Nope, not high enough to stop him to make me stop you. <laughs> He's just on, like so. So uh, I noticed that your my, your, your my boss has him. <laughs> calms down, Buck. Just just for just seeing me walk in, he just calms down. Oh no, let's see what I really. Or do. or does this have the opposite effect oh, that on me it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even... Buck looks at you all, notices that his boss is not trying to stop him. He looks at this pipsqueak who is ignoring him, that is in his corner, that is talking to his favorite person. That when, looked at, that when you looked at me, I got, I got everything right away, and I'm just and like... And is actively insulting leave. his boss in front of him, the person who gave him something in this world. And do you all see Buck stand up with probably the most pissed off look in his face he has had since Pokemon? He's just like, he's not even paying attention to you. You're literally just there as he's starting to out. So, I noticed your boss has already been here. I, I, I imagine he's not particularly here that often. Uh, would, would you like to take my offer of, uh, he pushes over a small envelope, uh, seeing the amount of money? And he, Buck looks at Bernadette, looks at the money, looks at this idiot. This is all culminate into one moment. Does this guy have bodyguards? Uh, probably not. He Did has one bodyguard Buck's... who's across the room and just kind of oh God. leaning back. Is it, is it a person in Elysian gear? Yes. In fact, it's So the same kind of gear that the people who... The, like, the same kind of gear that the people who grabbed Buck earlier did when he met Ironwood. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk up Buck to the guy just... in, this, uh, in this armor sin, and I'm look, I'm just expecting the armor, and I'm like, so how sturdy is this armor? Okay, the guard wrong. pushes you out of the way as he starts walking over to Buck. Obviously, since Buck Boy, is now standing. <laughs> asshole! You just, I was talking to you. You, in one swift motion, you notice that Whitley's head is now in the table and denting it, and that the Elysian guard has an axe between his eyes. <laughs> oh, and you, you see Buck pull him down. back, and you just see Buck mouth, in very clear detail, get out of this bar and never come back. You're in my space, you're talking to my boss, you want someone to respect? Respect the floor, as he smashes his face into the floor, sits Jesus. back down, and continues his nice dinner. Because he has not had a good day. So, after seeing all that, I, I just come sit down with Buck and I'm like, So, how are you? Are you having a good time? The Wait, Whitley, like, stands back up, like, kind of wobbling side to side before he grabs his letter. You peasant. Buck looks at him, snaps the stinking thing. You notice that he has a pure metal piece of fork in his hand that is now crumpled paper. And all you hear is, you what, mate? Oh, As he gets back up, off, dude. I think you pissed him off. Grabs the kid. This mad. And I haven't not no. seen this mad since the since the magic carp incident. Oh god. And you just see Buck grab his arm, 
pull him up, look him in the eye like he's holding him, and he's just squeezing. Which Bronson knows how bad this is hit for yeah. Mike to do this. He, he grabs your hand as he you know, starts waving around. He's like, my father will hear about this. Buck is like, can I like force communication with this person that just pissed yeah. me off? And he's well, just like, shut your face. You. I am right there. <laughs> yeah, but you don't have the same punch in, in a head as somebody <laughs> immediately speaking into your skull. Mm -hmm. Well, you could just probably hear... you know, you headbutt him so hard that you, that you <laughs> mentally connect for a brief second. You just, he just, this kid just hears, shut up, stop talking before I strangle you to death. <laughs> Get out, never come back. The boss ain't here right now. Stop insulting the boss. She would probably try to kill you too. But since we're not allowed to kill you, thank the boss verbally outside before I make you a ham cheese sandwich that has to eat through a straw. Wait, how does that work? Do you just smash it up in like a blender or something and then drink it? Yes. Ham, uh, you, the ham you use is cut very, very thin. Hmm. Okay. So, but what has to be the weirdest. That all that... With mush. Nicking in the koosh. That has to be legitimately the weirdest threat I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Look, Do you let go of him by any chance? I mean, does anyone ask me to let go of him? No. Does he ask me to let? Does he? Does he apologize for insulting Silverberg? I guess it's probably not. Uh. <laughs> he looks as he is. He's like trying to squeeze your hand backwards so he can speak. The schnee I mean, do not fall to such words. Oh boy. I look at Corin. I look at this kid. I look at him. I look at Bernadette. I look at Corin. I look at the kid. Does anyone, do I get any confirmation that I can make this kid into a smoothie? <laughs> I'm afraid I can't quite let you do that one. Well, I mean, a smoothie that is alive but just can't do anything. Unfortunately, he's going to need all of his teeth. Discussions. I guess he bugs. doesn't actually know who owns this shop. Not in the slice, I mean, which is why I was talking to Burnette. <laughs> Burnette. I look at Bernadette, and I just kind of give her this quizzical look of, can I hurt him more? She defers to her boss man, which is uh, me. It was like, I'm going, like, I mean, do you want me to get Silverberg so that they can discuss this? Because I'm not in disguise yet. I mean, I just kind of, I just kind of look at all of this. You see Buck just visibly just like breathe in breathe out and you like see some of his smog come out for a second and you just like you just see him drag the like you see him drop the kids like a wrist that is probably a crumpled up piece of paper grab him by the shin and just drag him into the back Ow. i'm leaning over to bernadette um, yeah please. that's that, that's some extra brisket for him next time i'm loving this wait probably not the best alive? thing to have gotten on record but you know oh I know people who can mess with this footage. I know a guy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, the one who let me choose Not that skill. Okay. So many things I think I can do, but okay. So I'm a freaking change into some... I'm going to change into my, God, my bad boy pants. Is that what I was going to say? <laughs> bad boy pants? I'm going to I'm going to change into my villainy, my villainy outfit. My well, do you by any guy. chance attempt to stop the uh, near murder that's occurring? Alright, I'm assuming she passed out. Well. Well then. <laughs> nah, she's asleep. She is, she is so asleep. <laughs> she is out cold, yo. <laughs> <coughs> 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 She is out cold. This is our like sleeping kind of thing at this point. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm gonna freaking wear real clothes, cause uh, boy, I'm gonna go in for the negotiation then. 
that yes, right? After he just got the thunder beaten out of him by a very angry, hungry cat man. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm just sitting, I'm just sitting there like, so, uh, where do I get my crystal? Oh, uh, you go to the nearby shop. It shouldn't be hard to locate, uh, <laughs> hard you know what? To... I'm actually, uh, I'm gonna send Haley with you. She's the funnest girl out front. She'll take the you to adorable the one. Yes, actually. Ron, you see an adorable. What is she? Uh, she's a bunny faunus. Adorable bunny faunus. She has the tiny fluffy oh. tail. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! You shouldn't have done this. You should not leave me oh, alone no. with the bunny girl. Oh no! Pause. Oh, oh no! Oh no! I'm gonna oh, grab Lilith no. and shove her them to make sure that there's someone in between. <laughs> well, of uh, course, uh, stands I, immediately. <laughs> okay, I'm just like, <gasps> you just hear a loud gasp from me when I see her, and I run over to her and just pat her on the head. You're so cute! Look at you, gonna little boy. Die. <laughs> She's gonna kill him. <laughs> I'm about this to see wrong this. Where Haley, like, seems to just be caught off guard for a moment. And uh, you do hear the sound of some glass breaking and something wooden violently snapping. Coming from oh. behind the bar as whatever Bernadette was just handling explodes violently. <laughs> but, yeah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna inform Lilith that uh maybe maybe handle this. Please handle this. <laughs> Lilith oh, immediately goodness. grabs Ron by the ear and starts pulling him. <laughs> Oh yeah, but I, I rolled to counteract whatever was about to hap happen to me, and I'm just mm. like, uh, no, I want to pet the I want to pet the bunny girl. I'm a big man, not vertically, but in spirit, <laughs> I am willing to admit it when I fuck. <laughs> I legitimately don't know how she would respond to that. You know what? Give me a second. <laughs> But I do need to go get my crystal, so you you be good now, widow one, okay? Oh, you... dear me. <laughs> Hold up, let me and just, then I just go walking off and I'm all happy because I got to see something adorable. Neat. Um, oh, let's see. Do you want to... Okay, so that was Will. Uh, nope. Despite me clearly signaling, do not do that. <laughs> uh, let's hope that she doesn't roll higher than a 12. Okay, good. Uh, there's a... There's definitely a sound, but... Uh, you're more than capable of dodging out of the way as what appears to be a large golden axe sinks hilt deep right into the wall. The blade was hey, not the part I that played that video game once. <laughs> the axe is about the size of your torso. So, uh, somebody lose that golden axe? I mean, it's right here if you need it. I found it. Sorry, here, let me just... Oh, I'm, you right out of the room. I'm you shoving go. you out, please, for the love of God, stop. Please, stop. <laughs> Cord immediately bull rushes Ron and just tackles him outside of the park. Hey, what the hell, man? I was trying to get your I was trying to get the golden axe out of your wall. It seems rather tacky though. Yes, it is admittedly a little tacky, and it'll be hard to clean. You know what's harder to clean? Human intestines. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't want to clean intestines clean... off of my wall again. Now, why would you need to clean human... Well, okay, look, I can understand why you would need to do it originally, probably, because of the, the company. But why would you need to do it recently? <laughs> complicated. That is very complicated. <laughs> yeah, whatever. So, about the crystals... <laughs> Yes, just, I, I called in another person. He can escort you. His name is Cyril. Cyril? He runs, yes, he runs a... Let's see, I believe I'm legally obligated to call it a private security firm. So, he's a dick? Oh, no, he's actually a really, really nice guy. It's just, you know. No, I mean, I mean like, I, like, a, like a private eye. He's a dick. Oh. Yeah, he's a total dick. <laughs> okay, got it. Jesus. Alright, so do you decide to go in to talk to Whitley, who just got the snot kicked out of him? I mean, yes, I'm going to walk away from the scene where I just prevented a murder to the place where I'll hopefully be able to prevent a murder. 
This so, is yeah, going this, fabulous. To get, to get me, get me out of the scene so I can, I'm off doing my own thing. So you can have, a, you're like, okay, so now that we're, now that we're in a Ron free zone, let's get down to business. This is yeah, fabulous. I, I, oh, technically, I guess you could say that I just gave Ron a whole bunch of really cool and explosive toys to distract them. Neat. Uh oh. Why would uh -oh. you do this? Uh oh. Rolling. You just hear. Boosh. Die. You know, fewer people will die than if he stayed in here and kept petting. <laughs> I'm fine with this turn of events. Oh yeah, burn it, that your axe is in the wall. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk in before it, uh, she rips my goddamn head off. <laughs> I love how I'm just disregarding for everything and I'm just perfectly fine for it. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> So you walk I have in no and you what see. The hell's going on. He's just blissfully <laughs> unaware, blissfully ignorant. Jesus. So you walk in, you see uh, Whitley on a chair, not quite tied up, but with the snot kicked out. Ow. Courtesy of a I see that you look like you. Uh, you look like you picked a fight with a walrus and lost. <laughs> he sighs as he's trying to not throw up as he puts down his bill thing. <clears throat> so your bodyguard is fun. Uh, you know, actually, I think that he is technically qualified as that. Yeah, dude, Buck, you're 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 actually a bodyguard. That's pretty rad, isn't it? Buck looks at you, looks back at Whitley, looks back at you, and just kind of shrugs. As he's like just staring at this child with murderous intent. Make sure to remind me that to remind me to re tell Bernadette that you're officially promoted to bodyguard. That basically means you get paid more, which I guess because of your really weird way of expecting payment means that you get more brisket per meal. Buck looks at you, and he starts to cry. <laughs> uh, tears of happiness, I'd assume. Whit Whitley kind of just like looks up at you and then looks back at Silver with an odd look in his eye before he's like, I'm assuming you're the boss? Ah, uh, yes, that would be technically accurate. Not legally accurate, mind you. The official, Officially speaking, this bar is not in my name, but uh, you can probably guess why that might be. Sure. Anyways, as I was trying to explain to your, um, associate and other associate and uh whoever already else since there's no one who really has this bar in their name i have this obscene amount of money i'm assuming you haven't seen this much money this is because this bar as well as a couple other places are starting to rise up shall we say and so as the snee always do we plan to take it preferably okay. with this amount of money but we can go higher I'm going to take a look at the money. I'm going to carefully measure, measure it, weigh it, roll it around. Maybe bite it. It's an obscene amount of money. I'm going to ask. Let's see. How much is this for you? For me? This is more money than I've held in my hand in at least a month, actually. I had to carry a lot of money all the way to Mistral. Probably not the smartest idea in my lifetime. But hey, when you got for five us? minutes, you got... Two years wages. Two years wages for well, a profit. Schnee worker, or two years... This is the profit that we've gotten over the past two years. Okay, Sin, that's unrealistic. Two years of profit from a mega corporation. Oh, that's true. Like All right, this is the Come profit on. we've gotten for the last four months. You don't know how to negotiate, Sin. Uh, no, no, I don't. <laughs> All right, it's not a obscene money. amount of money, all right? No, I just want to know, like, how hard is it to get this much money for someone like you? Not very. It takes a while, I just but not very. <laughs> All right. So, oh, technically speaking, what I do is I open up a... However, what I uh, clearly do not show him is where I open the portal, because I open it up in my mouth as I swallow the entire thing. Actually Damn, dropping boy. it off inside of my uh, uh, warehouse. Uh, you open so. a portal in your throat, then... <laughs> I'm going to lean forward and be like, so, if it's easy for you to get, why in the world would I accept it? 
because it's not easy for you to acquire. I just acquired it into my stomach. <laughs> yes, and I'm sure we can have people who can rip it out. You have people who will die trying. Are you attempting to start a war with the Schnee family? Well, I was thinking about trying to bend the one that you were starting, but, uh, I don't know. I feel like Buck is starting a trend. Your face is very punchable. I am here for simply diplomatic purposes, to give you, uh, an option. Right. Are you the guy who sent the letter, the one where you're going to buy out that other shop, one with the dust, the dust shipment? Yes. Same offer, same price, same altercation. So you're going to go up to the owner of that shop, and you're going to pull out another one of those big bowl on You're going to put it in front of him, and you're going to expect him to say, Well, I guess if it's Papa Schnee, then I'll gladly bend right over. Is that how that, is that, how that goes? Generally. Maybe not with as much uh, <clears throat> color. Color? Yes. Yeah. Well. I think it's pretty safe to assume that he's gonna have the same response that I'm having. Hmm. In fact, I'm pretty I'm pretty confident of that fact. Would you like to know why? Wait, wait one. Why? Because I own this town. Hmm. And we would like to buy it out from you. Did Did they not train the Shinies in how to negotiate? I'm just going to lean back. Did they... Buck, you're hearing this, right? <laughs> Buck is, like, sitting there looking at you both. He's, like, at the side at this point, just kind of sitting on the ground, kind of laying down, more or less. Mm -hmm. You know, as an expensive cat would do in that moment. Because Buck is a very expensive cat in the <laughs> form of food. Because I would not doubt feeding him every time he comes about is probably not an easy task. Big challenge, and but we're up to it. He looks at the Schnee kid, looks at you, looks at the Schnee kid, and all you hear is, he's the one who's beat up, and even on a psychological level, you're beating the crap out of him. <laughs> it is just like, what do you want? We have money, we have resources, we have, well, better bar than this. We have everything you can imagine. What do you want? Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Well, you didn't say that, did you? <laughs> did you just... Did you just diss? Get some sip. It's a run-down bar with half-flavored people. You can't even talk straight right now. Half-flavored people? Buck, did you give him a concussion? Buck have... looks at you both, and you notice he took... Quite the offense to half-flavored people. He likes Bernadette, and Haley is adorable. No one can, I mean, no one can, no one can tell her that because she'll kill them. But we all know that she's like the unsung mascot of this place, more or less. Well, freaking Bernadette's the one that's gonna commit murder if they. Uh... Haley, Haley's tolerant. More importantly than that, half-flavored people. So he looks serious? at you. He's like, you even taking in a. Bonus. Oh. oh. Buck really didn't like that. <laughs> oh no. Oh, you just hear a. Says the Snee are obscenely racist. <laughs> yep. They oh, are like boy. obscenely racist. <laughs> I'm so to a point of literal slavery kind of racist. <laughs> Damn. Okay, well, Damn. I think our negotiations are quite finished here, because if they keep going, I'm going to have to hide your body. And, oh boy, the Schnee can hire better private detectives than I have body hiders. That's a lie. Uh, I'm the best body hider I know. They'd never find it. More importantly than that, I don't want that many ripples. <laughs> yeah, because you probably eat it. Oh, word. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, same portal. Uh, oh dear! You, like, do, do oh, wait, he hear... rolled a four. Is that low enough to trigger his uh, walrus's uh, bullshot? One, two. Uh, one to two. No, okay. but you do see Buck 
actively pissed, and he's <laughs> breathing through his mouth. He shouldn't do that. <laughs> that shouldn't so be a thing he does. It's buck vaping, basically. He's With poisonous, corrosive off. gas, yeah. And you, he buck looks at you actively. Like, he, he knows he's not a us. But he still doesn't take kindly to those comments because he understands. That's... He doesn't like many faunuses because most of them think he is a faunus, which pisses him off. <laughs> but humans think he's a faunus, so that pisses him off even more. And then the people that call him a faunus, that aren't a faunus, that are faunus. idiots, are being racist to the faunus, just pisses him off more, especially <laughs> to the good ones that he <laughs> likes, that he knows, that haven't insulted him in some form or fashion. <laughs> Or he's had to fight for one reason or another. He is actively fuming. A run-down he's... bar with barely uh, alcoholic enough drinks to give anyone a tipsy, much less actually get them drunk. With faunuses all around, and he looks at, bar at uh, Wars, and I would assume you're a faunus. What kind of a bar is this? <laughs> The fact that we're even trying to spend so much money as you've already had is well over what we should be paying you. Hey, Buck. Do you, uh... Do you want to see something neat? Buck is, like, actively, like, giving off the fumes, and he just... One of his eyes just trail up to... You don't get a single word. His eyes just trail from him up to... Well... Unfortunately, this is getting really serious. You see, last time I got into a conversation like this, I was talking to a bird, and I kept telling him all sorts of stuff. I'm sure someone knows that. More importantly than that, I have a book. Would you like to see my book, Whitley? He raises his eyebrow. It's a very rare book. It's I, I think it's one of kind. Would you like to see it? Sure. So, uh, Sin... Yeah. You probably know what I'm pulling out. Yeah. I'm going to take out the grimoire. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to basically give it that little mental order. Where you're like, yeah, just start doing its whispering thing. He looks at the start. book for a second as he starts to lean back. What is this thing? Well, you ever had Beowulf steak? He looks this at you with has... what you imagine would be a disgusted face, if not for a fact that it was pummeled. It eats Grim. Eats their souls. Eats with the well, whatever they have in the place of a soul. Basically, if I kill a Grim, it gets absorbed into this, and it gets stronger and stronger. That voice it keeps whispering with, it gets louder and louder until it starts eating away at the inside of your psyche. I've had it for a couple of months. It's actually pretty rad. More importantly than that, though, would you like to know about the teeth? His eyebrow goes up again. Would you like to see the teeth? I would prefer not. Well, unfortunately, I would prefer not to be having this conversation. But I guess nobody gets what they want, huh? <laughs> would that kill him? I don't want to kill him. It's just, you know, whatever it is. It's like, what was it? It whispers wretched truths. Was that it? I have no idea. I think so. Something like that. Well, if it if that's what it lists, then you know I'm just gonna set it on the table. I'm gonna open it up, and it's and he's gonna see the teeth, the little bits of the living book that keep moving. Hmm. So, um, long story short, uh, I'm not a fan of the way you're doing things around here. Tell them, and 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 I, I hope you directly. Uh. We need to send a competent negotiator to talk things through. Okay? <laughs> okay, do Here you go. I'm going to wrap my little heel scarf around him, which basically serves to start healing the injuries. It's like, see, the thing is, if you walk out of here with the injuries, that, that looks bad for my business. That looks bad for um the family. So, I don't want you to look bad as you walk out of here. I just want you to no, beyond a shadow of a doubt, whatever we did in here, thanks to this little scarf, we could have hidden the marks. 
He stands nice up day. and puts his hands behind his back in the formal position. You have a nice day, too. Although, I doubt that they will be sending in a, a negotiator next time. You see Buck stand up he, from... Uh, I shiv him in the thigh <laughs> without removing the uh, healing Jesus. scarf. Hand goes over the mouth to prevent the sound. <laughs> Good so God. To send a negotiator. I'll step away. And once that heals up, I'll take the scarf. Oh, you should visit a tailor. You might want to patch that hole up. No clue how it got there, but thank goodness it didn't leave a mark. He looks like he's on the edge of possibly choking you to death. <laughs> but he manages to keep he's his restraint. He's on the edge for the of trying. Yeah, he, would he does not manage even to make keep it. his restraint for the most part and simply starts walking away. Again, not even paying attention to. Um, Wars. <laughs> is this even, even though Wars just beat him to a blight pulp, he still sees Wars as inferior. You just see Bucks get out of the room, and you hear like Buck taking his axe out of that poor guard's face. Oh, hey, Ron rolled. <laughs> I that's really low roll, Ron. Should I be concerned? I don't know. I was rolling to see if there was be another explosion randomly, and it would have affected him. But my guess is not. And and so I guess my guy just comes blasting through the doors like, ah! <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. That should have been a goofy sound, the goofy scream. Uh, Ron, <laughs> how many uh, how many crystals did you have in your hands when you ran through the door? Oh when I got thrown through the door because of a blast. Uh, how how uh, many that's... how many crystals did you did you have? Whoa. One. Didn't have too many crystals, but uh, well, one d three. You did have quite a few fire ones in your in your hands. Nice. And they are very volatile when they hit the floor at remarkable speeds. When you trip. Oh no! <laughs> so I fell over, dropped most of my fire crystals. Several of them hit the ground at rather high speeds, yes. And they did explode, yes. Yeah, in the middle of the bar, yes. Stop it. Oh, okay. Then in that case, let's see. Haley's still there. Please be. That's, that's fine. And let's see Bernadette. Bernadette's on it. And does... I Wait. What is Walrus doing? Because it seems like Bernadette's starting to get a handle on the... I mean, well, let's see... Buck's trying. That's a two. That's a two. Buck is attempting to control himself, but he's not so sure he can at this moment in time. <laughs> and you feel the pulse roaring out through the entire room, including Waitley, and you just see Buck just in fury. Also, uh, Wait, Ron, roll the 20 real quick. All right. Somebody maybe need to stop Buck from murdering the tiny child. So, on the upside, what we can now confirm is that none of the crist none of the other crystals will explode because auras need to activate mm -hmm. them. On the other hand, everyone who is putting out the fire is now vulnerable to fire. Yeah, Ron's right next and to it. Thankfully, his hand's not in the fire. It's just really close. And Buck's in a blind rage at the second. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh no, hang on. Yeah, I'm so the, the an idea. only thing that my character can think of is to shout, Fuck! If the place burned down, we'll be all so, um, risk it! So, so, look, my guy gets up, he realizes his mistake that he's made, and he's like, Don't worry, guys! I can solve this! He unzips. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 Okay, so, roll dodge. Roll dodge. <laughs> so Wars, you, you, you hear two you like you get into a blind rage, and the first thing you hear <laughs> the very first thing you hear is Corrin screaming out that if the place burns down, there will be no more brisket. And the second thing that you see is uh, Ron standing up and unzipping his pants directly in front of the tiny faunus chick. 
Yeah, uh, like I said, did you roll dodge? No, he roll was dodge. rolling so he could to put out the fire. Ron, roll dodge. Roll d20. Uh, roll please. one, baby. Game, give, me a, give me another nat 20. I need another nat. Get one. Oh, 15. That's a... That's decent. Uh, I don't. Well, a fire extinguisher bounces off your head. <laughs> hey, that'll work. <laughs> I was um, kind of, I'm kind of empty down here anyway, so. <laughs> so during this blind rage moment, what what does your character re uh, hear when he hears there will be no more brisket? He I... hears there will be no more living people. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh I don't, yeah, that, okay, that's what he hears is that, and let's see, his reaction to this is to get more pissed off. He's already mad. He saw Ron unzip his pants in front of a tiny, the tiny adorable one that he cherishes because she's probably funny to him or something. Mm -hmm. And then immediately get his head smacked in, more or less. Here's basically... If everyone, if the place burns down, there's no more brisket. You just see Buck without any hesitation, because he's not really in the right mind. He has no mm -hmm. proper control. You see him pull out an ice, like, from his small pouch that he keeps on his back, an ice dust shard, throw it into his axe thing, use his leg to spin the barrel that's on his axe for his thing, and he starts to, bl like, a mm -hmm. bluebium fog up the entire room and activates the ice. Well, Woo. that's one that's way to cold. put out the flame. That's real cold. And, and the way that that works is more or less, he basically, other, I guess since there's fire in the room, mm -hmm. it's actually pretty hot. It probably just turns it, the, turns everything, you know, freezing, into a mist. It doesn't, yeah. Yeah. And it puts out the fire. But Buck is still pissed off. So his immediate reaction after that is to, like, get the flat side of the axe and just chuck it at Ron. <laughs> So not only did I get hit in the head with a fire extinguisher, and I and I'm like, oh hey, that that's more useful, thanks. So he's uh, he's zipping back up and is about to use it. He gets hit in the head with an axe, and now, yes. hang on, hang on. Now does we... anyone attempt to stop Buck from hurting more people? Lilith runs forwards and attempts to deck you in the face. Oh boy, Bernadette walked up. <laughs> oh dear. So, what do I... Okay, let me roll real quick to see what happens. So, here. that 13 uh, is oh. how much I... How much my head... Oh, worse. So, oh, worse. So, I'm gonna assume, I'm gonna go with the funnier one here. Well, it just kind of tries to walk up to Buck. Buck just looks at her, and his immediate reaction is, no. <laughs> yeah, and when Bernadette walks up with that nat 20... Buck looks at her, and is afraid. <laughs> I, yes, of course. Hey, uh, hey, like, Buck. You, you, you rolled it's a one. Oh, sure. It's table time. <laughs> it's like, you know, let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. God. oh no. <laughs> What's in store? I don't even know what this could possibly be. <laughs> okay. What is the worst possible decision to make right now? Uh, I think shooting. it would be to piss off Burnett more. <laughs> oh, shoot. No, he's probably right. <laughs> I mean, but I don't have my weapon, so my guess would be, like, Buck is still in kind of a blind rage moment. He just tossed his axe at Ron. He has no weapon. He's just got his two hands. A, don't a, don't a, throw hands at Bernadette. A, oh, no! A stump and a leg. And Buck is pissed. Buck is already <laughs> not really thinking at this point. He just kind of reacted to, there will be no more brisket. And he doesn't know who started the fire. He, he was reacting to Ron, you know, throwing his pants down, more or less. And now he just sees Bernadette walking up to him. His brain is like, hey, it's Bernadette. The inside a part of his brain. The outside part of his brain is just, punch anything that comes near me. <laughs> and he just, like, his eyes are, I guess, whited out at this point. Because, you know, uh -huh. pissed off, anime style. And he just, like, you just see him, like, get, like, all in one motion. And then just one hand towards Bernadette. And I assume she just grabs it and, like, cut. Well, let's see, with the nat 20 versus the nat 1, I'm gonna say, yeah, you do hear the hefty impact against uh, the side of her head as your hand just kind of stops there. Yeah, She just kind of stares right at you. 
and his mouth is still open because he's still very, very pissed off. Mm-hmm. Though he notices that he hits something a lot harder than a wall. So, I get the feeling that maybe you misspoke just now because that didn't sound like a normal word. Would you like to repeat yourself? Buck is like blinking at this. He's starting to come back. And he just, he looks at where his hand is, looks at Bernadette and goes, what? <laughs> what? Like, that's the, the only reaction he has is, pardon? You put out the fire, which means the bar is safe. So uh-huh. I'm going to ignore that. Fair. Well, let me be clear. Bullshit like this flies it only one time, and that's Friday fight nights. If you ain't in the fight club, then you keep your goddamn weapon in your pants. That goes for every single person in this room, and that includes you, Streaker. You uh, stay hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on. My, my guy is dead on the floor. <laughs> he is knocked out. He ain't moving. <laughs> At least he ain't lighting the room on fire again. Or Peter. Wait. Oh, I, have a, I have a question. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Did I bother to put on a shirt before I left? Oh, I oh. assumed not. No. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just this has a new guy. Just... Whitley Buck at this like, point has already left the bar, by the way. <laughs> you left a while ago. Buck stands back up straight, kind of. He's kind of wobbly because, you know, he just let out a ton of gas. So his lungs are probably mm-hmm. a bit screwy at the second. Closes his mouth, breathes in, breathes out. Like, kind of pats himself off a little bit. Looks at. Wait. Did Bernadette take the wall comment badly? <laughs> Which thing? The, he hit something harder than a wall. <laughs> oh, you smacked her upside the skull. She she was just like, I'm gonna ignore it. You okay. kept the place I from th- burning down. Okay, I thought she would take the wall comment as me calling her flat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. She takes slow deep breath, points right at uh, Silverberg. He's like, you, sir, are going to be paying for all the cleanup. <laughs> and at that, he slowly looks around at all of the various other less than reputable individuals around the bar and is like, what the fuck you looking at? <laughs> and heads into the back. <laughs> Does she get her axe first? No. She leaves it. Buck is as calm as a baby bird, probably just because he turned his pants brown. (laughs) You see Buck, like, dust himself off, kind of get all the weird white dust breath stuff, because he knows Mm -hmm. where that breath has been. Looks over at Ron, probably just on a light layer of snow effluvium. (laughs) Picks up his weapon, flips it back to its normal state, puts it on his back, looks at Corn, looks at Lilith, looks at Ron, looks at the job he was given, and just walks out. <laughs> Look, just Shit can't place size. So, I think that that didn't go very well. <laughs> what are you talking about? That went amazingly. Wars is no longer in there, Whitley is kind of screwed off, and uh, Loth is sighing, and Ron is almost dead. Mm-hmm. I think that worked yeah, amazingly. So- Okay, I mean, sure, it didn't go exactly as I'd planned. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. As long as the White Fang do not launch an attack on the bar after hearing that there was a Shnee here. All right. That's fine. Uh, you, 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 you get, you get, you get um, the, the bunny chick walking over to you and uh, kind of shyfully handing you a, a letter. I'm gonna take the letter and I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna I'm gonna wonder what it says. The, the, the letter was for you know her. I don't know her name. Uh, what was it? Bernadette. No, the bunny. Oh, for the bunny, Haley. Yeah, it, it says uh, Haley. Uh, I am regretfully about to inform you that. Um, I'm gonna read the name of the sender before I read the rest of it. It's our informant oh, no, no. from the uh, White Fang. I, I regret to inform you that um, 
we've got to know us of some things heading your way. And, um, well, I would suggest you prepare for what is essentially an all-out war between a segment of uh, White Fang and Yabar. It really is Ben Silverberg over day. <laughs> uh, plus side, they haven't walked into your bar yet. But that Buck was that was what happened if you got if I got a nat twenty there. <laughs> but Buck's outside. Buck yeah. just stepped outside, and there's a ton of White Fang people, and Buck's already given you his way of dealing with White Fang. And it's only now that I'm like, oh my head, well, what's going on? Hey Ron, uh, you just woke up to a turf war. A, a what? And now? Buck's the one outside who just got off from Steam, and he's probably still not happy. He was calm. What do you mean he was happy? Yeah, there, there's a, there's a lot of white thing. I, I just, I just have to see something. Hold on. At least that wasn't our luck roll. It was theirs, right? No. No. That, that was probably my luck roll. You, you guys, you guys hear a voice. That you really, really do not want to hear. There's only one voice I don't want to hear here, and I swear to God, if he says, "Hey, so I Silverberg, I'm gonna walk on out," it's like, "Oh, the White Fang member must have told you." I said, "Hey." He cracks his knuckles Fuck. and he looks at you. Hey. And I just come stumbling out, like, you know, like the goofball that I am. And I'm like, Ugh. so what's going on out here? What's this about a turf war? Yeah, I'm going to turn around and shout into the bar. Bernadette, I need my red shirt and my brown pants because I need those colors to blend. So Buck is uh, looking at you, looks at the guy, looks at you, looks at the guy, points and goes, like, he, make, he, he makes it very clear that Buck, is, Buck makes it very clear he doesn't know who he is. And so in big... Arcing signage. He goes, "Who is he?" So I lean over to 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 the core, and then I'm just like, "So who's all the furries?" <laughs> okay, well, um, Ron, I would like to say that. Oh no. Oh dear. Man. Oh no that that was okay. That was that was uh Buck. That was not uh Sin. Sorry, moment of terror went through me for a second there. <laughs> hold, hold on, I, I need something appropriate for this. Hold my beer. Hold on. Did you hear that? Yeah. No. Sin, did you hear that? The ch You just see Buck look at Ron. All of just the past five minutes has rushed back into his head. You see Buck just pull out his weapon, place it carefully down on the ground, get into a stance, and just charge through White Fang. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm going to put my head back into the bar, and uh, let's see if he's there. Nope. It's like, great, the one time that Sister Lister isn't here. <laughs> This is fine. We don't need the Mr. Fister for this fight. We're okay. Uh, Warris, roll d20 real quick. As you're running through horde and horde and horde. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, okay, so clearly Buck is fighting these guys. So do we fight these guys or uh, what? Because um, I, I may or may not have left my weapon back at the back at the school. That's... Oh boy, okay, so... Mm -hmm. So, so Warris is running is through these people. For me to re realize it. Um... Do you remember what the white fang wear on their faces, Sin? Oh, including Adam. Yeah. Uh-huh, so, uh, what, I have to roll to fire at Adam? Uh, you would have to, yeah. Um, you probably fit, yeah, you're facing down, like, 50 people in front of you, and Wars is, like, halfway through them. Well, I'm aiming for Adam. I don't think I hit him, but it doesn't look like I physically can miss. Yeah, you you hit someone, and Adam immediately notices. And as Warris is charging him, he just punches Warris's fist. Nice. I, with all these twenties, I am not in the mood for you so, today. So, seeing that, like, okay, so we got a bunch of assholes here. 
I run back into the bar. I come back out with the giant flail and a spike ball at the end, and like, yeah! You didn't want to take her axe? Oh no, I took that too. You can see you see it on my back, but I, I took the ball and chain too because I was like, oh, let's go. I'm going bowling for boneheads. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Adam so growls. With the, with, the, with, the, with the big ball and chain and just swinging around like, Hey, yeah. Yeah hey Walrus, roll to join. I, I left my sword back at the place because I thought I wouldn't need it, you know? Mm -hmm. So I, I have to improvise. <laughs> Adam growls as he looks at, uh, as he looks at, um, Warris before grabbing Warris's hand and just throwing him at Ron, like, Full speed throwing. Can, can I, I use can Ron I retaliate? As... You can't attempt to use Ron as a uh, bounce board. Ron is going well, to I was actually going to, um, I was going to swing around the ball to try to l let him land on it in a sense and then just fling him back. <laughs> to be fair, I don't mind trying to do that. <laughs> yeah, you just can just try. We'll, we'll above a, uh. <laughs> that's, that that's not high enough. <laughs> Well, I, can I still land on it at least and stay on it? You can land on it, but it is a spiked ball. Then I'm swinging around. I do have a metal over my foot. Head like a lasso. That is true. You do land on it with a metal foot. It impales your metal foot, but it's not your actual foot. Yay. You can't jump off of it. Um, can't really aim yourself, oh, but you can jump off of it. I choose to jump in a random direction. <laughs> Thankfully, there are people all around you, so you slam into someone's face. <laughs> Not very pleasant right, for them. Alright, and now I'm finally gonna roll. Uh, where do I toss it? Oh my god. Right down the, right down the road! Just right down the road, it just goes flying, knocking everyone around. Yep, as it starts to slow down from all the people hitting it, you see... Adam just kind of walked towards it as it's starting to run down and pulls out a sword and blocks it. You also notice that his sword is starting to get much, much redder as well with every second it's attached. Hey, Back. so Ron, a uh, nice little warning for you here is that when he blocks an attack, it stores the uh, kinetic energy, sort of like that one villain in that X-Men movie that nobody liked. Actually, I think Oh, uh, okay, it. got it. You know so, I mean. um, so Black Panther, got it. He growls a, before he twists his sword and throws a massive wall of energy at you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna roll a jump over it. It's about three times your height. Me, I was trying I to shoot jump it. over it. <laughs> you do not jump over it. You slam your face into it, which is one of the most <laughs> painful experiences that you've had so far. And Corrin attempts to shoot it and it splits his bullet in half. Oh, well, still got the golden axe, though. I, I somehow was able to take it from the from the lady. Hey, you took it from the wall. <laughs> yeah, I just yanked it out. Because uh, at first I went in there, I went to get the ball and chain because I was like, mm -hmm. I can do damage. And then I went and was like, golden axe. I'm going to take that, too, and just stick it on my back and run out. <laughs> run outside. Jesus Christ. So, uh, Morris, did you oh. dodge? <laughs> I mean, the answer is no. I you may have just taken thing. a quarter of his own team out, but all three of you just got hit hard. I mean, but can, can I bounce I back do... from it? Yeah. Right, right, right. So, you do manage to stand back up. It hurts. What are you saying, Wars? Alright, so can I deal with the rest of the white thing that isn't Adam? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Well, since I have experimental dust and I have a very explosive breath. Oh, dear. You see Buck, like, after taking that shot, stand up. And he just starts letting it all loose. Oof. Like, Wait a minute. Actively... Wait a minute. Hang on. I have an idea. Buck is using his breath, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I see that. I still have a fire crystal. <laughs> I mean, the experimental dust causes a bigger boom. I was going to use that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I I'm about to pull out the fire crystal, go toss it, and you're like, wait. The, the, the experimental dust. I'm like, ooh. And I toss that instead. How big of an explosion is it? Uh, it's rather large. Uh, none of the White Fang can escape from it, but Adam, of course, just kind of takes a couple steps backwards, and he's completely out of it. Um, 
But all the White Fang managed to get into it, and Adam looks incredibly angry. You guys do oh, notice I, I, Corrin I, just kind of standing there with the phone. Yeah. Yep. I now pocket the phone now that everything went through as I kind of start walking forward. I'm like, hey guys, you remember that superpower that we got that one time? Uh. No, not that one. The other one. Uh. Good guess, but no. I mean the one that we got it to, uh, for completing the mystery dungeon. Oh. What? <laughs> You uh, you read the documents, didn't you? Do you expect me to have read? You're right. That's fair. Uh, my expectations were too high. <laughs> I didn't even know I had books in my bag that taught me about the world. <laughs> I also need to, I need to read this one about auras for dummies later. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Does bestest buddy you remember? You see Buck look you dead in the eye, and you see him start cracking joints. <laughs> and you see him get on all fours. And he looks at you and goes, I have no idea how to activate this, by the way. I'm <laughs> just taking a guess. It's the power of willpower. You just have to think about it, and then you do. And you see Buck on all fours. Like, you see him, like, kick off his shoe. And you just see him start running forward on all fours, and he starts climbing a wall that way. I'm going to freaking run forward on all two, because um, my form <laughs> is freaking uh, bipedal. Yeah, I am ready as his sword as he like, looks at the both on, of you. I'm remembering this, I'm remembering that, and then I, then it finally hits me, it's like, are you guys turning into Pokemon? Fuck yeah! How do we do this? I want to know. I want to know what mine is. I'm probably something cool like a fucking Groudon. Idiot. You're what you were when you were... Never mind. And you just see Buck just screaming his head leaf blade as he jumps off looking like a grimified... Like what? Because aren't the Pokemon grimified technically? Yeah. So yeah. You, you look like a, a... like a You could be mistaken for a Grim if you were uh, seeing at a distance. But you look like a Grimified uh, Grovile. No, Skeptile. Yeah. yeah Skeptile. Whereas I look like a Grim freaking Lucario. Mm -hmm. Adam so, immediately blocks uh, your uh, leaf blade with his like, uh, sword as it starts to glow more. And he slants back into his hilt, looking at the two of you still. Oh, I'm charging right at him. Dude's still <laughs> got the mask. Yep. And you see Buck, like, kind of use that as a distraction, and I'm going to attempt to use Solar Beam in the same instance. Uh, Corrin, roll to join. Okay. And, and, and then look, Jeez. I'm just being like basically the Hawkeye of the group here and I'm running up, <laughs> just casually jogging down the road. Oh yeah, sure, you know, everybody can just do, do all these fucking cool things and here I am just being run, running around with my big giant axe right now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> As Buck is doing... Wait, do I notice this? Notice what? Oh, Sorry, wrong? Yeah. Wrong. I don't know how yeah. To, people have superpowers and stuff and well, but what, what do I get? Oh no, I don't get none. I'm just the fucking main character here. I, I don't get shit. <laughs> You, you manage to punch him in the face, which he takes personally offensive, uh, as he starts to uh, ready his blade uh, excuse again. You, it's an aura freaking blast channeled yeah. through my hand. It ain't no normal thing. <laughs> yeah, that's not we pleasant. With yeah, freaking aura spike to the eye. Well, you could always use aura storm, basically <sighs> Kamehameha. Us. Yeah, also that 18 was for Ron to just go look around and go, Ron, <laughs> thank tank! Tank. tank. So I, I I think tank, but uh, but the tank I think is from uh, Left 4 Dead 2, and I'm like, I don't think that's gonna work here. Edgit, I meant chestpin tank. Chestpin? What would a chestpin do right here? So I don't know. What does he evolve into? He evolves into a um. Hmm. Ah. Oh. Ooh, that actually would be very in rather good. I could use that. Hang on. Wait a minute. Okay. Ron, Woodhammer. <clears throat> Woodhammer? <laughs> Wrong kind of wood. I got, I got nothing. I don't I don't know how to do it, guys. I'm sorry. But don't worry. I've got an axe. Yeah! He's yeah. going running down the road. <laughs> You, you, yeah, you notice that Corrin has been slowly pushing at him backwards. Hmm? 
<laughs> How hard do I get bitch slapped? Adam pulls out his thing. Doesn't actually hit you. He's just blocking your guys' attacks for the most part. Corrin is beating the living hell out of him, though. Yeah, but, freaking You know, you know what's funny, Finn? I, I'm, I'm wielding a big giant axe, but it's actually really, very, very lighter than my sword is, so I'm able to swing it around rather, rather effortlessly. Yeah. He keeps blocking your hits specifically. With Gorin, he just seems to take it, but he keeps blocking your thing. You also may notice that his sword is getting exceedingly red, and I mean like lava red kind of red. So I, I, I stop for a quick second, I see this, and I'm like, you and he keeps what? sheathing it every single time he blocks. I'm like, you know what? what? How about <laughs> fuck you? I'm gonna fucking smash it so hard it breaks. I'm gonna <laughs> break his goddamn sword, and I am pissed off now because he kept blocking, and I'm just like, would you fucking stop? And I just smash him. Corin, I need to know, can his sword break? Uh, technically speaking, it does. Like, it depends. <laughs> Oh, oh, he's charging up his laser. Oh, dude, uh, <laughs> he is what do you think? I was just... That so, is, like, I don't know the answer to that question as to whether or not it can break. I legitimately don't know if his sword can break. Um, <laughs> hold on, because I but think the it did break in the last they season. I think it did break well, in the last season. Well, I guess we're just going to fast track that little moment huh. then. <laughs> I, um, That's not a good durability roll for him, is it? No. No, it's not. Can he block Warris's roll first? No. No, he can't. So that means I broke his only line of defense, and Warris is about to solar beam him in the face. And uh, I'm pulling out my bat for that last blow. Do you remember that <laughs> attack that I got as Wally the Riolu? Yeah, his... You see the look of pure surprise and shock as his sword... Wait a minute. Dang it. Well, Wait, actually... Actually, low roll. Hey, uh... All three of you... Well, no, actually two of you since you're in front of him. Roll d20 real quick. Doesn't affect uh -oh. Warson the slightest, but... That, oh, no. What, what, what are you doing? Alright. Ron, you don't notice this in the slightest, but... Gorin notices and feels it very viciously as uh, his sword practically explodes from all the force that has been shoved into his weapon so far. It explodes in extreme violence as uh, uh, as Wally? Silver? I don't know. Uh, as Mako runs forwards and practically takes the entire thing to the face. <laughs> That's actually what I would have done either way. I was literally about to say that it was going to shove uh, Ron out of the way. It looks like I don't have to do that. Yeah, it it hurt. So you basically pulled a pickle on me. How dare you? It hurt. Uh, what hurt more was the solar beam to the face. but uh, His face, so yeah. Yeah, his face. Uh, but having his entire... Because he's been blocking Ron for like a solid two minutes. And Ron has been and, pounding and, and his sword. Yeah, and the more he kept blocking the matter, matter I got until it finally was so pissed off, I channeled the the, the strength of a thousand monster hunters into a one final slam. And this sucker exploded. Mm -hmm. I remember that, by the way. That's probably the reason I'm still standing. I didn't dodge a single thing, but boy. Oh yeah, I forgot that thing. So he, he, Freaking... he would probably get up and be like, how the fuck? <laughs> Half of my outfit has just been just exploded off of my chest, but you can clearly see a uh, bright orange ribbon, an aura ribbon, on the side of my arm. It's like you are incredibly in pain, by the way. Fuck off, Taurus. <laughs> he gets hit so, by the wait. the friggin' solar beam, which fries a lot of his clothes, and his arm is now singed. But he slams his sword back into his sheath. And, well, what remains of his sword and sheath. Um, and he grabs it. He, is he at walking. all surprised by my the fact that I'm now walking towards him, despite the huge amount of damage? He is more terrified than surprised, which doesn't happen very often. But that also I mean, it's not a makes high him roll for somewhat angry. Didn't roll. Yeah, that was my attack I roll. I thought he, he was going to roll too high. No, he... Uh, you just decked him in the face again. 
Well, not decked. I'm swinging down with that metal bat of mine wrapped in chains. I'm aiming at his mask. Oh, it breaks. Oh, it breaks hard. Yeah. His Remember, eyes it's a, it's also... A, it's an attack that hits with the power of the dead. Yeah. Haunting. Yeah. You break his mask. You also, again, rip into the already scarred portion of his eye. As he falls backwards, his hand's still on the sword in his sheath. You also so notice that his blade is on the ground and he's currently gripping it. Bleeding, but gripping it. Hey, so, I got I just, another message for you. I just fling the, the golden axe on my, sh my shoulder and I'm just walking up Jesus to him and like, Christ. yeah, block that bitch. <laughs> so, Adam, I got one more thing to say to you. Hi. Does this make him angry? How? <laughs> Actually, well, Me, I'm, yeah. I want to use my gravitomancy to make him fall into my fist. <laughs> <laughs> do in fact manage that. He starts to run. He runs hard. This game did well, not want him see. to fight you. He runs hard. Gravitomancy. Nope. No, he's out of range. Gravitomancy because I took so much damage. But sin, I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll for it for my luck because I want to see if I'm gonna be able to do. Ooh. I just so happened to notice that he dropped part of his blade when he ran away. And I'm yeah, like, the, um, I look around and I'm like, yoink, mine. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the long portion of his sword as well as his hilt is still in place, but the part that connects them was practically busted off. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to so roll great fortitude I, to see if I, if I can do what I want to do next. <laughs> I'm getting on my belly. And I'm reminding you that Argoros Hide is a weapon that was designed to take out enemies at a distance, running in a straight line. He looks back at you and sees your gun, and uh, his hand, still gripping his R.A. blade, looks at you and turns you into complete defense mode. Yeah, I don't mind. This is a gravity round meant to break open entire bunkers. Even if he blocks, he's going flying. Yeah. Still have one hell of a charge, though. <laughs> it hurts. Yeah, he's all of, like, 40 meters away. This is easy range. Yeah, shockingly, it doesn't break. Probably because it just took almost all of your force and turned it into mana. Well, not mana, but... Well, well the impact of the bullet, yes. Mm -hmm. The explosion? Oh, that will hurt. So, what was the incredibly powerful stand pistols doing? <laughs> his sword so still does not break, surprisingly. He, his half of his arm is now, the skin is practically ripped to pieces, but it does not break. Where? Where? I'm not so, somebody. So then you gotta wonder, how the fuck did I break off part of it? Oh yeah, right, them. Huh. No, no, there. Are no. you? No, 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 fam, no. No. Dealing with this. They are so far. You vaguely hear sirens. Yeah, you know what would be funny? She's actually probably watching from the shadows and wants to judge us to see how bad <laughs> we are. And I think she's very thoroughly impressed, especially by me, considering that I broke part of his sword. Yeah, that so sword is... should be nigh indestructible. I mean, like Yang broke it, but it's Yang. I mean. What about Buck? Buck is going to. And all you hear is two very strange, distinct shots from a magnum pistol. And in your head, you all you hear is sex pistols. As you notice that your weapon is now off kilter, and Buck is looking at you in a very Mr. stance going, let's just end this for today. He already looks like he's about to piss himself. And I just put another bullet in his leg. I'm going to take a slow, <laughs> casual moment, and for, as uh, Sin knows, now that the mask is broken, I no longer have to launch an attack at him. <laughs> so you're just here to break masks and take names? For Pretty complicated uh, backstory reasons, yes. Yeah, you notice he starts to run, yeah. but no, as he like as he starts to run, he pulls out a uh, bandana and wraps it around his head. 
at least to hide the other part of his face. Mm -hmm. Still taking a shot. <laughs> you attempt to take. Wait, are you taking another shot? Him? Yeah. Jesus it's like a more of a hot shot, but. I'm aiming for freaking his good arm's shoulder. What round are you using? So I'm gonna. Uh, let me Gravity. See. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, his bone I'm is kind of try. gone. I'm still gonna try it though. I walk up to to, to Corin and I'm like, my boy, let him go. I put my hand on his shoulder and I'm just like, just let him go. And I rolled a one for this, mind you, so. <laughs> I could just see <laughs> you just look up at me with the most unamused face and you're like, fuck off. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, how does uh, Adam handle that shot? Well, you just ripped apart his entire shoulder, uh, which is very difficult to heal from, but he's also a stubborn motherfucker. <laughs> well, we were so he just grabs his arm and keeps running. <laughs> All right, he keeps running. I'm assuming he starts hiding behind the building. Yeah, he's hiding Ooh, behind a law building. Enough. Yeah, I, I don't. I, just fire. The, I don't chamber I, the next round. I put the um. I put like you know the. Um, I get right in front of the gun's barrel, mm -hmm. slam the golden axe down on down in front of it. I'm like, that is enough, my boy. <laughs> the man is basically dead. Yes, but you can heal from basically. Look, I think I think the the police are easily gonna be able to find and follow that blood trail that you left for them. They gonna catch his ass one way or another. Nope, they're still not there. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Hang on. And wait. Hang on. I'm rolling. Rolling. Sin. Nice. Sin, you said they were grimified. I'm gonna fuck the bunny uh -huh. girl! Just the Pokemon into the sky. versions are. Oh, yeah, your, okay. your Pokemon versions are. And grimified. he's Grovile State, isn't he? Oh, yeah. I'm in, I'm a state, and it's Grimified Grovile, right? Yeah. Sceptile. Sceptile, but yeah. Sceptile. Okay. Uh, neat. So you look like Grim. You have the face of a Grim that looks yeah. like a Grim. Yeah. It has a mask. It's a mask, yeah. and it looks like a mask. Oh, no. Yeah. All right, and so apparently Buck is about to attack a random team member, and I'm about to attack a specific team member. Well, Buck's already kind of, you know, he's done with the situation. Mm -hmm. You shot when Buck told you not to after he pulled out a pistol and pulled a Mista because you called me a, you called me, you, you said you, you referenced him, so I had to pull a yeah. reference. And so Buck's not really full Grimified. He's kind of like, some, like lower half, I wouldn't say his face though. Oh, mm -hmm. not his face. Then no, he's, it's shoot. in his it's in his legs at the moment due to kind of how he's figuring this out. Mm -hmm. He kind of kicks you in the face, slams mm -hmm. you to the ground, and going, "Hey, what's rule number one?" <sighs> and no, he kicked you in the face with those legs of a septile, which are oh. you know strong, fast too. Neat. I think I can taste. Is that the cartilage from my note? It is. It's Are you one. okay, buddy? What's rule number one? Don't kill. No. Kill and what me. were you about to break? Well, I was gonna aim for his kneecap. Yeah, but look how much damage. Do you think he's really gonna survive most of this if he did another thing? Yeah. Glinda the Good Witch is really like Glinda Good Witch's uh, uh, telekinesis could have prevented blood loss. Follow up with the high end medical treatment from the area. Oh, you you notice that more. Glinda finally Speaking appeared of. next to you as she put a hand on your shoulder. What took you? Uh, oh, she's been here the whole time. Uh, I, I had, uh, Ospin had me do a couple of errands. Um, so, um, yeah, the guy went that way. You might, you might be able to find his blood trail. We kind of wounded him. Oh, wait, bit, so. which guy? She looks at the Adam horde Chris. of, uh, blood, of, uh, White Fang members. Oh! Oh. He, he was all dressed in black, had red hair, had a sword that would, that, that could shoot waves. I think I broke it. Adam Taurus, second in command of the White Fang. Probably the worst person. I will attempt to go find him. That is a very long blood trail. Yeah, find him soon. I don't want him bleeding out. Then I would have killed him. And then you would have broken. I one. would have had reason to have kicked you. <laughs> she disappears face. on the spot. Yeah. 
and Buck Christ looks at you both. His legs go back to normal. You notice that he doesn't have pants anymore, and he's but of out course cold not. and naked. So I walk right up to I walk right up to the two of them, and I'm like, "Teach me how Get to do that." His pants. <laughs> Technically, well, I still have a boot. <laughs> Low, no, 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 just go get my... No, 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 Sin. Roll, I want... If it's low, they give me pants. It's a, If it's high, they just put my boot back on me. Lil looks at you all. She reaches down, grabs a boot, looks at Warris, shoves the boot on him, and walks away. Shoves the boot onto his hand. It just walks away. I look right at uh, Buck and say, we wouldn't let... Or we would not let Ron walk around pantsless near Haley. Or Bernadette, or any Marcus civilized human being. on the ground, like looking at you. He was in the middle of that giant explosion because you know it was coming from his face. Mm -hmm. So his he's probably charged some and just looks at you and going, "Look, I can't move. If you want to like throw me into an alleyway and throw a blanket over me, I'll get up in like an hour or something. Or you know somebody could throw those stupid vials that we keep on us at me because I can't I'm move my arms." We have like a million people with pants on that are just dead on the streets right now. I mean, they're not technically oh, dead because we, can't, oh. because we can't kill, so you could just steal one of their pants. I can't move. I can't even Did open I my face. I Hang on. Sarah. <laughs> he, he does private security. Yeah, no, I, I, ain't t I ain't time dealing with this, but later, you guys, you need to teach me how to do that, how to do that little Pokemon trick, because that might come Run. in handy. One day. Get back here. <laughs> Ron. I'm going to beat him with a spoon later. <laughs> and it's not going to be a tiny spoon either. It's going to be one of those oversized things. And I think I'm losing consciousness. One of those cereal bowl I spoons. Text. I basically sent a text to burn that after a minute. There's just, you are pretty much just have a blanket tossed over you that you can make a makeshift toga out of if you ever stand up. <laughs> All right, well, that was interesting. So if you guys want to find out repercussions of uh, A, beating the second in command almost to death, as well as beating the second in command of the entire Schnee family almost to death. <laughs> and also, I broke the man's sword and stole part of it, so I'm going to integrate that into my sword. Yeah. That's an interesting thought, actually. You do have the ability to do that. That's... Yeah. Huh. Because imagine it. Imagine it. That it already it has that it has that slight property, mm. but if I add this one's this ability to it too, to adding it to to like you know the um mm. the the railgun part of the of of my sword, mm. imagine how much stronger it would you know be now. Probably buffing the damage by like plus two. I like that. By huh? the way, Ron, uh, I'm literally going to back that with as much money as I can <laughs> on one condition. <laughs> Because also, also I need to I need to do that one that that little uh, thing so I can have like you know a secondary option mm -hmm. basically. Interesting thought. Yeah, you could make a yeah. mini his sword. Uh, but yeah, that's something we can do next time. So if you guys are interested in seeing what these ramifications mean, and also, wow, did you guys pee on a lot of people's shoes today? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, you guys be interested in all. And I we just spent an hour I without love Loth. I love that I did the impossible. Today. I know you. I you literally should not be capable of breaking the damn thing. But the rules do not lie. Good God! All right. Well, we'll see you guys on the next episode. Go like our um, three channels and go check out all of our no, other series they, and whatnot. They that hmm? I I am this team's Yang in a sense, though. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> and uh, also, I am starting to put out some uh, uh, Fallout Questria fan fiction stuff on the film fiction that I'm going to be making. So that's going to be inside of the description below if you guys want to go see it. Uh, yeah. Yes, that's a lot of togas. Toga! Anyways, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Off feet is in. German for goodbye. Arrivederci! Bye.